Inside every Hot Pockets ham and cheese are slices of tender smoked ham and real cheddar cheese and a crispy, crusty, tender, flaky crust. What are you going to pay? Hot Pockets. For years, Intel technicians have been making PCs smarter. Now they face their greatest challenge ever. Hey, no one messes with my brain until I get sprinkles. <laughs> Suckers. Now anyone can have all the brain power they want. Just look for a PC with an Intel processor inside. By eliminating covalence inhibitors, we create triple dense carbohydrates and thus the so called super donut. Ooh. Many of you mock my interest in the pastry sciences. And what do you have inside? job like how can we make somebody smile today a costume when i have it on it makes it a lot easier to make someone smile we just like to be funny and play with the kids it's like they have a supernatural vision they can catch us the minute they walk in the door mommy mommy there's a clown up there shopping to me is fun so if i can make a, a fun job of it then that's what i'd like to do we actually don't know how to make the balloon animals but not at we, all we try what matters is you come shopping at walmart you get what you need and we give you something extra a smile to leave the store with how can I be a worthy mother when all I want is my children's cereal? Kellogg's Frosted Flakes just for kids? Brave adults say no. My wife said she'd do anything to help. I told her to get me a spoon. Now more than ever, these adults are stepping forward to admit they love that sweet, delicious crunch. My passion finally led to a marriage of convenience. He's a milkman. Come on, give in. Frosted Flakes have the taste adults have grown to love. They're great. The X-Files, now for sale on video. What I find fantastic in that there are answers beyond the realm of science. With secrets never before revealed by creator Chris Carter. Listen to me, Scully. This thing exists. Own the classic episodes selected for this exclusive video release. The X-Files, now on video. Two uncut, digitally mastered files on each tape for $14.98 or less. Owning is believing. Hey, we look good and passed out. I think we look silly. Hey, you guys are all dressed for Easter, huh? Pretty soon the Easter Bunny will bring me a basket full of you guys. Do you still believe in the Easter Bunny? Are you insane? I believe in talking candy, don't I? Oh, good point. The Disney Video Masterpiece Collection Trivia Challenge is at McDonald's. Look in this Sunday's paper for your answer. You could win one of 300 million prizes. Someone can win a million bucks. It's gonna be magic. Meet the proud creators of New Post Waffle Crisp Cereal. No rocking chairs or bingo parlors for these gals. No, sir. Just look at them go. Ready? Roar! Harnessing years of good old American waffle know-how. To make sure every scrumptious bite of Waffle Crisp Cereal tastes just like Grandma's homemade waffles and syrup. And how? Introducing Post Waffle Crisp, a brand new cereal with old-fashioned values. You'll love my Waffle Crisp. The last lunar fireball was seen over 75 years ago. And after I see it tonight, I can die a happy man. Some gums lose flavor fast, leaving you looking for another piece. <laughs> Too bad he wasn't chewing extra sugar-free gum. It's the one with delicious, refreshing flavor that really lasts. Another 75 years. Hey, people are living a lot longer these days. Extra lasts extra long. Imagine a satellite system that turned digital signals into vivid pictures and CD quality sound. What would it look like? How big would it be? Oh, about 18 inches. The RCA Digital Satellite System. Customized programming and the power of digital technology. Now in a convenient take-home size. Can't be too sure. Between now and April 10th, every time you place a collect call using 1-800-CALL-ATC, you and the person you're calling could win an internship on Beverly Hills 90210. Ooh, David will like me in this. A Beverly Hills 90210 star will be calling the lucky winners during the April 10th episode on Fox. To win, just keep those fingers and toes crossed. Oh, this will just make Valerie sick. Then keep using 1-800-CALL-ATC for all your collect calls. <laughs> These aliens are killing us. We need some help. Right away, your airness. McDonald's! Behold. Now only at McDonald's. Collect these fun Looney Tunes stuffed characters from the new movie Space Jam. Just $2.99 each with the purchase of a new deluxe or any other large sandwich. Way to go, Dandy.
How about we go out and kick some alien butt? Space Jam at McDonald's. Come hungry, leave stubbed. Okay, boy. Now, just like I taught you, I want you to open the cooler, and I want you to give me an ice-cold Pepsi. Good boy, good boy. Maybe later we'll play Frisbee. Hey, you got another one of those? Mm -hmm. Selling home computer with Intel Pentium processor. Packard Bell. Wouldn't you rather be at home? Right out of tomorrow, Audio Advisors creates custom designed entertainment and automation systems for your home today. As easy as making a selection and pressing a button. Now you can enjoy the sights, sounds, and excitement of the movies in the comfort of your own home theater. Experience the benefits of an audio advisor system. For personal service, higher quality, and lower prices, call audio advisors today. What's in a name? Peekaboo Street for a new chapstick. I train a lot. It's cold. Spicy to start Without the right equipment, it's intense, especially for my lips. New Chapstick Lip Moisturizer with Vitamin E. A moisturizing formula that conditions and protects to help heal dry chapped lips. When I'm training, I'm not the lipstick type. I'm the Chapstick type. New Lip Moisturizer, only from Chapstick. It's worth it when you win. Hi, got your pizza. I didn't order a pizza. You didn't order a pizzeria stuffed crust pizza? Sure didn't. Big fresh every day. Okay, <laughs> I'm feeling a little bit frazzled, not gonna lie. I probably should have waited a moment <laughs> to go live, but that's fine. I was just rushing to finish some things. I'm not even centered. This is a disaster. Hi, I'm Nancy Drew. Oh my this god, I, my I am. <laughs> my I'm a disaster. Hopefully, I sound okay. Also, I, I, do I, I do. didn't do an audio test, and I just realized I had this weird thing with my mic in my um, Mystery of the Seven Keys reaction video, if you saw that. My mic kept cutting out, and I think it was a YouTube thing, but I changed the setting on my mic just in case, and I'm worried that it's it's messed it completely. Just let me know how I sound. Komatars, how are you? Chris, how are you doing? How are you on this fine day? Rogue, Aspen, how are you? Matthew, how you doing? Ashley, good to see you. What are your feelings on Mystery of the Seven Keys? Actually, everyone, what's your feelings on Mysteries, Mystery, Single Mystery of the Seven Keys right now? Thank you, Joyful Mystery Writer. How are you? I, yeah, I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. Sound good. I did cut out? Really? I thought it was a YouTube thing. What kind of thing is it then? <laughs> Oh no, this is incredibly concerning. Because now I'm like, if I keep cutting out, that is not good. And I don't get it because I filmed two videos earlier this week and it was fine. Hmm, well now I'm worried if I should even stream if I'm having audio issues. And I did record something else, didn't I, recently that was okay? I can't remember. Um, better now. Okay, good, Aspen. Hey, Mary, how are you? How are you doing? Um, hello! Realize we were quoting Quen wrong. It's right as always, not you're so right. I'm, I'm, like, immeasurably disappointed by that. I liked our saying better. Hold on. I've got this really kind of weird setup with how I prop up my phone for these streams which I use my like jewelry box <laughs> which has little like notches and I put my phone in one of the notches and then it stands up by itself <laughs> it's great it's ingenious I yeah I'm so disappointed though seven keys puzzles look great they look hard I'm scared I'm intimidated 
only cut out once for a sec. Okay, hopefully it's just like a little oop de doo just waking up kind of thing. Oh my god. I've been great. I'm just excited for Mystery of the Seven Keys. I cannot get over how soon it is coming out. Like, that is unreal to me. It's it's way too soon. I needed more prep time. I know we've been waiting a long time, but I needed more time. Still need more time. It's weird because you sound great, but it cut out for like one second just one time so far. Okay, so as long as I sound great for the rest of the time, that's good as well. Hey, Michael, how are you? Have you done the big move? Ms. Lemon, how's it going? Meowdy. Also, thank you for re joining resubscribing what the heck is it called on youtube when you continue your membership but thank you so much michael i've got two new member videos that i'm working on right now but it takes me a bit longer because i don't i don't have a huge amount of time to be honest <laughs> i wish i had more time to work on members videos but sadly i do not um but yeah if you want to be a member it's 2.99 canadian a month and you get bonus videos you get videos early like the um trailer reaction video you get emotes to use in chat you get my <laughs> special love and appreciation all those things innovator thank you thank you <laughs> that's me i'm excited for seven keys i don't expect you as good as like the old games yes but i still think it has a lot of potential yeah i think like it's definitely um, we're in a whole new era of Nancy Drew games, and I think having different expectations is just realistic. Like, it's still exciting that it's, like, part of the Nancy Drew franchise, but they definitely have a totally different tone. I think it looks like it's going to be definitely better than Midnight in Salem, which is exciting. No, Mary, I still need to do that. It's, yeah, it's, if you see it, you see, if you see it in real life, it's bad. It's really bad. But I do have it in pigtails. Membering, remembering, <laughs> oh, <laughs> remembering. Wait, I love that, Miss Lemon. That's genius. That is a genius. Little money icon. Wow, I see. I didn't even know these things. There you go. There's a little text. Member videos are quite good. Me, also a member. Well, I'm glad you think they're quite good. I'm glad you think it's perhaps worth it. I'm very cool and important. Red as always, Ken. I can't, I can't, I can't even live with that. I just, it doesn't sound right. It sounds wrong as always, Ken. <laughs> Mary, thank you for remembering though. I'm sorry, Le Ms. Lemon, I'm stealing that right out of your mouth. Um, Chris, thank you also for remembering for four months. Ms. Lemon, you should never have said anything because now I've just stolen your work. And I'm going to claim it as my own. Southern Sleuth, hey, I keep meaning to comment on your latest video. Um, I, so I won't say what I was going to comment, because that'll spoil the comment. But um, I watched it. I really enjoyed it, as always. Everyone should check out Southern Sleuth's YouTube, Mary's YouTube, Ashley's YouTube, Joyful Mystery Writer, you stream on Twitch, correct? And Miss Lemon also streams on Twitch. We got a great community of creators in here a lot of i think every single person i've named does has done or does nancy drew related content mary streamed the entirety of ghost dogs just yesterday just yesterday my opinion is first off this is like a five person team that's in an indie budget so i think it looks amazing for that and much better than mid yeah people oh my god it's unreal like i was saying this in the discord but people have such high expectations it's like this is not a triple a studio it's just not like oh i don't know I, I feel like no matter how hard her interactive could try uh, they would never be good enough for some people because they've been burned so hard which obviously is partly her interactive's fault but it's just like oh my god <laughs> oh my god in the end of the day like i think it's the the gameplay that's what's most important it was a gift. Thank you, Miss Love, and I appreciate it. <laughs> uh, so much great content, truly. I'll keep you going until Mystery of the Seven Keys comes out, following all those people and watching all their content that they ever made, ever. <laughs> I agree, given what this a small budget. It looks really good. Some of the subreddits drive me crazy because they have wild expectations. I know. I know the subreddit is like... I'm just going to repeat what I keep saying in the Discord, but the subreddit is like... 
oh, why can't they go back to the old engine? What was wrong with the old engine? I don't understand why they can't go back to the old engine. It looked better than this. And it's like, they literally can't. They The reason they switched up the end in, engine because it was borderline unusable with modern technology. And that is like, took them so much longer and was like a lot more difficult to use. And like, that's why a lot of the Nancy Drew games struggle on Windows 11 because they use that engine. And then people are like, mm, what was wrong with Lonnie Manella? Why did they fire Lonnie Manella? I don't understand why they fired Lonnie Manella. She breached her contract. She breached her contract. She leaked info to fans. Like, I thought we knew this. <laughs> Sorry, it's just frustrating because it's like you see those things crop up over and over again. It's like, this, this is established. <laughs> Please. I don't know, but... Yeah, sorry, I'm a little frustrated. I do think there are a lot of valid criticisms out there, but those two, I, like, to the best of my knowledge, I think are bad. <laughs> uh, good thing it auto renews, otherwise I forget to remember. Aw. Woof, woof. My Thursday stream is a complete disaster, but I told everyone to watch your Seven Keys reaction video. Miss Lemon, thank you. You have given me so much. Your community, your words. Thank you. Also, Madeline, thank you for remembering with this fancy green blob. It looks great. You look great as a fancy green blob, may I just say. Oh, you also have a, a YouTube channel. There you go. Check out Joyful Mystery Writer on Twitch and YouTube. There you go. People acting like her interactive is in Nintendo. They're acting like her interactive is like EA or something. <laughs> it's like, come on, people. Please. Please. I don't make contact, but I grew up playing the game. Started playing in more in recent years. Yes, I love that. I feel like so many people in this community have come back to it more recently, which is so lovely. It's like that kind of thing that's, I hate to say it, trending right now, reconnecting with your inner child. It's like the purest version of that. Um, yeah, I definitely, like, I did not expect to be so wowed by the Mystery of the Seven Crees trailer. I did not expect it to be coming out so soon. Um... Yeah, I was just impressed by the amount of characters, the amount of settings there seem to be, and to my eyes, I think it looks pretty dang good. I know some people especially have issues with the character models, but, like, I have seen a lot worse. I've seen a lot worse. <laughs> I saw one post on the subreddit saying, so now are they going to go back to releasing every six months? And I was like, girl, this is at least a year of work. Yeah, like... It is, I don't, I don't even understand how they could get out games every six months. Like, it takes me six months to write, like, I don't know, a, a 2,000 word short story, I feel like, sometimes. <laughs> how do they make a whole game in six months? Like, a whole polished game with so many elements to it. Like, I don't know how they did that, and I feel like it definitely it's getting more, it's taking a lot more time to make games, and I don't think... <laughs> we should be expecting them to put out games every six months, especially because there's this whole conversation going on, like, stop crunching game developers and, like, making them, like, we're pushing them their very limits, making them work, like, unhealthy, inhuman hours. Like, I don't, I don't think it's a good thing to expect that from, from game developers if you're, like, because it's, like, you're just wording it a li little differently, but you're saying that you want, what everyone is like, this is bad, but you just, I, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, like, I, and I, yeah, I think that was just an absolute treat, and we should be grateful for that, and, like, it would be nice if they came out a little more regularly, um, and if there was, a, like, a little more, um, communication in the time between games, because I think communication with fans is definitely something they need to work on, because it's, like, people keep having, like, criticisms and saying things and like bringing up things that I think they could have addressed if they if they wanted to but I feel like their current social media strategy is kind of like just don't say anything like people are like why do they keep posting like you know contests and stuff you could say oh we're, we're working on a game at the same time like you know don't worry about it but we like doing contests with our fans like and things like that it's just like I, d I don't know I don't know the Reddit is insane now. Yeah, it used to be, I was saying as well, it used to be like the most positive subreddit, but people are riled up right now. It was a mess, but I honestly had a blast playing it and look forward to Seven Keys so much. Honestly, I did too. It had some drama. Um, it's not my least favorite Nancy Drew game. Um, I think the atmosphere is pretty good. Deirdre is good. 
Hardy Boys were good, although they're not in this game. They don't have that crutch to lean on. <laughs> At least not that I've seen. Did have the old engine for over 20 years. Exactly, exactly. It's impressive that they had their own engine, honestly, and it is good to try new things and evolve with the times. And um, I think, like, part of the reason they changed engines was, like, hoping that maybe they'd get to do, like, console releases um, for the games. I don't know if that will still happen. I don't know if it's financially viable for them, but I remember them putting up quite a few polls about that, and I don't think they could have done that with the old engine. I've had the stream to join again. Highlight of my weekend. Oh, that makes me so happy, Madeline. You have no idea. New game looks so good. Extra crisp looking. Yes, I could just crunch it right up. Oh, speaking of crisps, look what I brought back specially from when I went to Ireland. Because in less exciting news, the new Nancy Drew game coming out less than a month from now, I went on a massive trip and did a huge amount of traveling to Ireland, other parts of the UK. Um, I went to Germany and Prague with Mary. I spent quite a lot of time in London. And when I was in Ireland, I got potatoes, which are like classic Irish chips, crisps, crisps. I've got to say crisps because I'm in the UK, but they're like, what are they? What do they say? The original Irish crisps. So that's cool. They they might be a little a little broken up from being in my luggage, but I had to bring them. They even have flavor potato crisps written in like Irish on the label, which is cool. So I thought, I, I was like, I need to bring these back for the Castle Malloy Street. It's gotta happen. I know, Michael, I can't believe it either. Like, I'm like, oh my God, there's, and there's, I've already have so many videos planned that I'm so excited about. I'll give you a little spoiler, cause y'all are here at the stream, which I'm very honored by. Um, I ordered last night at 2 a.m. <laughs> <laughs> the book that is apparently the inspiration for Mystery of the Seven Keys. So draw your inferences from that as you will. Think about what video series are a uh, common thing on my channel. Think about that. Just mu think about that a little. Muse on that. I think all the games took way longer than six months, but they had released schedules and were working ahead. True, true. That's a good point, Miss Lemon. I want more four hour Nancy Drew games, like less longer games. That's interesting. Yeah, me too, Michael. It's like something's bringing it all out. I feel like people on the whole are fairly good about not being too toxic to each other, which is important that I've seen at least, but damn, are they toxic to her. The dear driven all gave me the most joy. So true. Hey, Katie, how are you? Yes, I saw. I saw that. Um, no, I think I think it's 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 real. Katie, I think they've confirmed it. I don't know why I said it like that. It's real. Um, so I think you do point and click or free roam, which I think is what they're saying. What Midnight in Salem was, although Midnight in Salem, you still point and click, but you just zoom instead of like being like teleported to an entirely new screen. But I, I, I'm really hoping, I'm really hoping, I'd love if they meant free roam, like being able to move around with the arrow keys and like Wazda, not with the arrow keys, <laughs> like Wazda, like a real, real gamer. Like if any of you have either watched my video or played the um, uh, Treasure in the Royal Tower fan remake, you could walk around in that. It was incredible, life-changing. Um, and I think it would be so cool to do that in a Nancy Drew game and better than the mid navigation, although I'm sure it's more difficult to uh, make work. But definitely true. They're also um, revealed they're doing limited physical um, release, which is exciting. Although now I'm like, well, should I buy it twice? <laughs> like, and I didn't use to collect the physical Nancy Drew games, so this didn't used to be a problem for me. I was like, why would I ever want to do that? And now. Now I want a complete collection so bad. <laughs> um, and Mary, who is the most amazing friend ever, helped me um, start my collection with a bang. I've got quite a few at home, but I don't have Midnight in Salem. And I'm like, ooh, do I want to do this? Do I want to do this? Tato, great name. I know, and they've got this little Tato mascot. He's a little Tato himself. I don't know if I'm holding this at the right angle. I hope I am, because it's right in front of my face, but... 
Hey, Claire, I'm lurking today while applying for jobs. Oh my gosh, good luck, Claire. I <laughs> I was applying for jobs earlier this week. I can tell a story about that, but yeah, really best of luck to you. Applying for jobs sucks. It's so stressful and it's so boring at the same time, but you're amazing and I believe in you. You're going to be awesome. Yeah, I applied for a job or I was working to apply a job for a job earlier this week. It was like my when I say it was my dream job, it was my fucking dream job that I've been dreaming about and thinking about for years. I only saw the job posting while I was still away and I was like, okay, I'll have to do it when I come back. I didn't get a huge amount of time to work on it because I also have a huge amount of things to catch up on for university. And I second day I was working on it, I was like, I'll finish it today, I'll apply. That was the day they removed the job posting. So I was feeling pretty hecking bummed about losing out on my dream job. But it's fine. It wasn't meant to be. It would also mean that I'd have to stay in the UK, which, you know, sacrifices would be made for my dream job. But, um, yeah, that sucked. Also, yeah, no, I, something else um, negative happened this week that bummed me out a bit. But that would be doxing myself if I was to say that. But... My theory on the release date info coming so late, Unity, the new engine they used, changed the rules. It's going to start charging for each download. If it eventually was dropped, I think her was waiting. Interesting. Interesting. I heard they were going to do that only over a certain amount of downloads, which I'm so glad they dropped that, though, because that's fucking awful. <laughs> Mary, how did you know? It's like you're a sleuth or something, a senior detective. Thank God. I Like, people need to listen to Backlash when it's valid more often. Like, Mary and I were also talking. I don't know if any of you else, any else, anyone else in here watches Watcher, the YouTube channel with Shane and Ryan from BuzzFeed, but they just announced that they're moving all their free content from YouTube to, like, a paid streaming service on another site. And, ooh, boy. <laughs> Bad. Oh, the camera cut out? Jesus. Okay, hold on. Why does this happen sometimes? It wasn't happening when I filmed, and it didn't happen for ages. Which one of these is my camera? I don't want to actually remove my mic. Hopefully that helps. Thank you, by the way. I but I thought I was USB I was plugging. Maybe not. Let's see if it just... There we go. I'm gonna have to fix this. I didn't have time to look up. Someone suggested I look up my camera going to sleep, and I did not. I haven't had time to do that, to be quite candid yet. But um, I thought maybe a different USB would help. No, it would. It would did not. Thank you, everyone. By the way, please, please let me know if it happens again. Oh no! I just realized I was gonna remove my laundry basket from my background before I started streaming, and then I forgot. Now you can see my laundry basket behind me. I bummed because I doxed myself. <laughs> Yeah, because I, I, I doxed myself and revealed to everyone that I'm secretly Nancy Drew and I was in Prague investigating the mystery of the Seven Keys. The Watcher drama, I know! Like, people in the comments were like, they thought people would be, like, excited about this. It's so bad, and just like her, but even in a more dramatic way, I think they've lost a huge amount of audience goodwill, even if they decide to go back and change their minds. It's bad. Te uh, yeah, terrible decision. It's like, what? What made them do that? This today, and god damn, is that a stupid decision? I know, it's like, how did they not realize that was a stupid decision? <laughs> she does laundry! Oh my god, streamers, they're just like us. I came in hot with serious Nancy Drew news, but hi, hope you're well, haha, <laughs> Patrick says hi to you, hi Patrick, sorry you died in, on the Argon Trail, um, but yeah, no, we're here to discuss serious Nancy Drew news, 100%, I am doing well, Katie, I hope you are too, it's just a dark blob, yeah, it could be anything, it could be literally anything, I, I could have like a portal to a different world in the back of my room, you wouldn't even know. Yeah, we want to pay money. <laughs> yeah, it's and I re I'm like actually really glad it's backfiring for them because I I feel like if that had worked, a bunch of other channels would have hopped onto that and you'd have to pay 6.99 for an individual YouTube channel. Um and I just hope they just don't go through with it. Um it's it would set a bad precedent. We love being on YouTube. We made a community here. We want to travel and buy expensive food, so we're leaving. Yeah, it's like, God, the optics are so bad. And like, oh, we want to make bigger, bigger budget things. And everyone's like, what are you talking about? 
what are you talking about? No one wanted bigger budget things. No one asked for that. The irony of it being the same day that I canceled all of my subscriptions other than YouTube Premium. Very wise, Mary. Very money budgeting wise. Yeah. Yeah, sorry. I'm sorry, Michael. Sorry I had to find out this way. <laughs> uh, yeah, YouTube Premium, I think, is definitely a worthy subscription until they make it worse and worse and are like, no, actually, now you have to pay separately for YouTube Music because we hate you and we want money. <laughs> but I do wish that it was easier for people who do YouTube as a job to make money like their situation is slightly different because they said they have like a 25 plus person team but like I there's been quite a few YouTubers recently kind of like jumping ship so to speak that I've noticed mainly from channels that seem to have like a team of people um and that is kind of spooky I'm like ah I don't like what is happening here, and wouldn't it be lovely if YouTube did make it easier for people on their site doing it professionally to make money? But you just know they won't, because they want to make money. They don't care. Can't really get rid of my YouTube premium at this point. I'm hooked. I know. It's like you just can't. Once you, you go there, you can't go back. It's like a drug. <laughs> Reminds me of a bunch of ASMR folks trying to do something similar and they had like a bunch of content from multiple creators and watchers even less content output. Yeah, it's like it's one channel and I feel like they don't put out that many videos. Um, yeah, premium since 2015. I could never let it go now. It, yeah, it's, it's good. It's worth it, I would say. Nancy Drew, can I ask you, why did you wait five years for the next case? Can't a gal take a vacation? I've been trying to take one for years. Also, um, I needed to blow all the money that I got as a reward for my last case because I love being a broke detective. I, I can't I can't work when I have money. You know, I gotta work under pressure. Yeah, I no, I wasn't I wasn't with Ned, God. I told Ned I was still on cases and investigating. <laughs> Don't tell him that I wasn't. <laughs> The way YouTube Premium is so expensive, though, I'd, like, have to cancel two to three subs to afford it. Yeah, I, I don't I don't subscribe. Okay, the only other subscription I have is to Amazon Prime. And um, my mom, I think, contributes partly to that because she uses it. <laughs> but, um, yeah, the YouTube Premium is the only, like, one that I have. But I use YouTube Music as well. Um, so it's definitely worth it for me in my position where I'm not having to pay, you know, like a Spotify subscription on top of that. Learning they hired 25 people is wild. I understand they need employees, but that's so many. I know. It's like, what are they all doing? I would love to know each and every one of their job titles. <laughs> like, yeah, it, it, it's, it's kind of wild to me that they only do one video a week when they have 25 people on their team. Like, I get a lot of their videos require a huge amount of research. They obviously put a lot of work into video editing, but it's also like there's 25 of you. There's, I mean, there's at least 25 of you. Like, yeah, wild. They need to give some of those people to Jenny Nicholson. My God, she needs all the help she can get. I'm wait still waiting for her next video. <laughs> but at least she has the, um, the grace to give us a um, Patreon video every month. Once you have gone snugly premium, there is no turning back. <laughs> Nancy's still 18. It's all good. Nancy's Atch Ketchup. Oh my god. 25 is crazy. Yeah. The content team is bigger than the software company I was working for now. Yeah, now you really gotta ask, what are they doing? Um, also, what, what are you all most excited for about Seven Keys? Oh my god, it's Ruby! How are you? How are you doing, Ruby? I'm gonna crack open these Tatoes, and let's play the game. I feel like... I wanna finish this before Mystery of the Seven Keys comes out, but... I do streams every other week. Maybe I'm gonna have to do... a stream next weekend. Just to, like, cause I, I can- I can sacrifice my time <laughs> to play Nancy Drew. <laughs> um... Ooh, these smell good. They're salt and vinegar. They actually haven't broken up as much as I would have expected from being in my suitcase. How does a, the original Irish crisp taste? Does it taste authentically Irish? Hmm. Hmm. I, 
gotta be honest, the original Irish Crisp, not that great. Like, it's alright, but it's like, it's not even, it's not, it's not as good as your generic potato chip. Like, you know, I'm disappointed. I'm disappointed in my potatoes. I was so excited. Oh my gosh, good luck, Mary. I hope it goes well. I hope it goes smoothly. <laughs> when is the wedding with your doll, Deirdre? Uh, sooner than you think. <laughs> um, I love Jenny Nicholson. I use her Patreon too, and it's such a good deal for one plus hour videos a month for like $2 a month. Yes, me too. I, I lied when I said I only subscribe to Amazon Prime and, um, what you might call it, YouTube Premium, because I do subscribe to her Patreon too, and I agree, it is such a good deal. Also, how are you, CE? I'm doing good, Ruby. I got back from a really big trip traveling, which was so fun, and now we're gonna play Nancy Take a look at F's around time. in Ireland. Okay, what the heck was I doing? I remember that I solved the hecking Otterbox puzzle. So that's good. I never have to do that again this playthrough. Hmm. I literally- I need direction from past Chloe. Like, if she doesn't say in her save game title what I was doing, I just have no idea. Oh, this is- this is so much. Surely I've done that. No? Still have to do no? That. Hmm. Have I done- I thought I'd done the, um... The plates. Use the ink. I haven't done that. Uh, ooh, ooh. Do I have to do that right now? Wait, do I have the plates? Oh, I probably don't have them all. These are for, that's like an end game kind of thing. A regular chip texture, Miss Lemon. Like a kind of like a Lay's chip, a little thicker, perhaps. Slightly thicker. And the salt and vinegar taste is bad. It's bad. They smelled good. Hmm. Yeah, they taste too sour. No worries, Chris. Thank you for the lurk. I'm sp excited to play a new game with my partner and their cousin. I guess I'm get to do that with Mid because their cousin was in Japan. Oh, that is so exciting. That's so lovely. I think playing the Nancy Drew games with friends is like one of the most joyful things that a person can do. Who loves the Nancy Drew games, I should clarify. What have I missed in here? I can't do this yet, right? Because I'm missing... Am I missing? Yeah, I'm missing a few. What the heck? Ah! Ah! What is that? What is that indeed, Nancy? Let's go talk to Kyler, see if she has any more chores for me to do. That she can't do because she's too busy reading fucking Colleen Hoover you over there. No, I don't. Anytime you want to talk, I'll be right here. How was all your travels? It was incredible. I was actually so anxious before I went. I was like, something's gonna go wrong. Some oh, let's sit here for a minute. Something's gonna like ruin all my plans. Things are gonna fall through. But it all went totally smoothly. It was such a lovely time. It was so great to see Mary, to hang out with Mary. The camera went again. God damn it! God damn it! Okay, hold on. Um, I really loved Prague. I really loved Neuschwanstein, the castle in Germany. I would highly recommend both of them. Uh, just incredibly beautiful places with so much history. <laughs> I know, right, Ruby? But I want to play all the games set in like the UK while I'm in the UK. Although I know, I guess this one technically isn't part of the UK if it's just Ireland and not Northern Ireland. Hmm. I don't, wait, do I have to do this one right now? No, surely not. Sure, surely not. I think that you need to find more of those little weights. This one has so many like fetch questy things. Binary, no, no. Tried Japanese snacks the other day. Can't say anything bad. That is good. Did you get one of those like snack subscription boxes or something? 
haven't done that yet. The ASMR in this game it cho is choice. It really is. This game has cool vibes, if nothing else. <laughs> What's going on? Ooh, okay. We ha oh, 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 okay. We have a lot to say to Kit. If you were right, going then. to be the best man, how come you came out here so early? I volunteered to help get everything set up, and Matt and Kyler took Is me the up camera on fixed it. now? I'm pretty good friends with Kyler too. In fact, yeah. I'm the one who introduced her to Matt. Huh? Why would you do that? Why would you do that? Dear Dravals, what does that mean? <laughs> I've seen the first four episodes, Aspen. Me and my friend binge watched them. I am so impressed. I actually had super low expectations. I kind of thought it'd be bad. I was like, okay, the trailer looks awesome, but probably this will be bad. <laughs> um, I know it's really good. I think they really nailed like the vibes, especially of Fallout 4, which makes sense. And like the expansiveness of the games by having all these different stories um, and I think the characters are all really well written. They're all very, like, different. I think the humor is really good. Um, it's just, like, solid all around, you know? Thumbs up for me. Started watching- this is my first stream of yours, but I started watching your videos recently and I love them. Thank you so much! I'm so glad! And I hope you enjoy the stream, too. I try to make them kind of, like, cozy and chaotic at the same time. Vowels? Wait, I could have got them on Amazon. Oh, the Japanese snacks! Um, okay, nice. Hmm. Oh, hmm, hmm. How long have you known Kyler? Four or five years. I met her my first year at university. She'd just gotten back from the States. From staying with your family, in fact. Way oh, talks about there. Nancy a lot, does Nancy she? Drew. Yeah, I knew it. Kyler's freaking obsessed with me. I knew her for four months, and she's like, "That's my best. That's my best. Ma no, best maid, bridesmaid, bride. No, maid of honor. That's my maid of honor." Oh, Matt. Like, Ky I think Kyler doesn't have any real friends. She has to like latch onto Nancy, someone she barely knows and hasn't really kept in touch with. Kyler says sometimes she hears Matt's voice, only it's very faint and muffled. Do you ever hear him? <laughs> no. Man, Kyler must be losing it or something, because I'm telling you, Matt is not here. Why are these so bad? Like they're not expired, they expire on 9th of July this year. They're just so... Like, the salt and vinegar taste is not good. They're kind of sour. Kyler must be losing it. Damn, okay. Setting, um, seeding seeds of doubt? Sowing seeds of doubt. That's what I want to say. The caretaker seems to think you're the one who should be getting married here, not Matt. Yeah, well, in case you haven't noticed, that guy's got several screws loose. I just happened to mention that three out of my four grandparents were born in Ireland, and now whenever he sees me, he gets this weird look in his eye. He's seeing some beautiful little leprechaun babies between Matt and, or no, Kit and Kyler. How did he act towards Matt? He and Matt did not get along. They were always at each other's throats, arguing about the Gotta continue things. the bloodline. Even those leprechaun gnome things out in the garden? Danal had a fit one day when he saw Matt messing with them. And when Matt announced he was going to stay in the haunted nursery, I thought the guy was going to burst a blood vessel he turned so red. That's but just the Matt alcohol. Disappeared on his own, not because of anything Danal did. I mean, the old coot's not that crazy. Is he? He's insinuating that every single person is crazy. Like, just in this one conversation, he's been like, I think Kyler's losing her mind. I think Donald might be crazy. What? Kit! Suspicious. I'm loving the Fallout TV show. I'm glad they didn't hold back on the gore. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, I've definitely winced a few, <laughs> a few times during it. But it's it's definitely been... Um, I feel like they, they use it to a purpose. Ooh, a lot more than friends! Oh my god, we uh, there's so many juicy things I have to ask him. I'm so excited. looks at that picture I found over there, it looks like you and Kyler used to be a lot more than friends. Yeah, we dated for a while, until it finally became obvious that we were better as a couple of friends than as a couple. 
No biggie. No biggie? That sounds, like, too purposefully casual to me. I bet he still wishes they were together. It's obvious. It's obvious, Kit. Just admit it. Just admit it. You killed Matt because you want Kyler so bad. Remembering <laughs> scenes of doubt. I always thought it was weird how Kyler made Nancy her maid of honor. Like, she stayed with her on a foreign exchange trip. Does she have no childhood friends or university friends? Exactly. That's what we're saying. Like, I've, I've come up with a few ideas. Like, maybe all her friends were like, girl... Matt is a walking red flag. You cannot get married to him. And she was like, no, how can you say that about my fiance? You're uninvited to my wedding. Um, and so she was left with no friends except for this one random girl she knew many years ago. Or she just doesn't have any friends and is unhealthily obsessed with Nancy. Also, CE, I hope you don't mind if I call you that. I'm trying to, like, be less sweary on stream although it's not working very well as, as you might be able to tell i always love to ask nancy drew fans this what is your most favorite and least favorite nancy drew game and if you've never answered this question um for me before um feel free to pipe up in the chat as well kyler must not be a girl's girl yeah come on kyler <laughs> girls support girls definitely I guess or Kit has just been like, we're friends now. So Kit might be her only friend. Hey, Lufrizra, how are you doing? Kyla does seem, Kyler does seem like she has a few screws loose, though her fiancé goes missing, and she doesn't seem worried. As she sits there with this little serene smile, reading her little book like, Oh, I'm sure he was just pulling a prank. Oh, I believe that he dressed up as a weird old woman and ran across the road and dropped this weird creepy voodoo doll of himself just as a little jape to make us confused. Oh, typical Matt. Ho, ho, ho. What a jokester. It's like, okay. <laughs> okay, girl. Delusional really is the best word to describe her. Got up the list of games one sec. I also haven't played a few, but most I have. Ooh, wouldn't it be juicy if one of your either your least favorite or most favorite was in the ones you haven't played yet? But I'm still interested in your answer. That discussion you had. It says a lot about people. It's a good really? personality it test. It was about Kyle. Of course. I was asking Matt whether he had truly thought through what being married to her was going to be like. The more questions I asked, the more nerves I struck, and the more uncomfortable and angry he became. I'm, so I'm overcome by the spirit of a new shiny. theory. Hold he on. He stomped upstairs to the nursery. Next day, he disappeared. Obviously, the things I said got to him. So if I seem a little guilty to you, it's because I am guilty. It's my fault that Matt walked out on Kyler. Simple as that. So actually, here's my theory. I'm going to outline it to you. If you look back... Kit has actually said quite a few negative things about Kyler, like saying she was like hot-headed or something. What if he actually, it's not Kyler he has a crush on, it's Matt. What if he and Matt, and like, you know, how they got his black eye, you know? You know? That's my, that's my new theory. This game is so good for like juicy drama and gossip. <laughs> Like, it's it's got that at the very least, which I do appreciate. Um, also, goddamn, these people should not get married. I'll see you later, <laughs> They should okay? not Drop get married. Anytime. What am I doing? What am I doing, Kit? Let's get a fortune. I would, I would like, like a fortune. A fortune. <sighs> Ooh. Let's see. Even the longest day has its end. Wow, that's profound. And is that, like, I thought most of them were, like, previous game quotes, but that doesn't feel like one. That feels like a generic, like, fortune cookie fortune. It's like 2.49 a.m. Oh my gosh. <laughs> no wonder I haven't seen you in a while. Having super, having supper. Wait, supper? At 2.49 a.m. Oh my god. <laughs> it's good. What are you having for supper, if you don't mind me asking? Did you know if you call the number from the commercial for Vault 45 in the TV, you get an inserted interesting message, and texting it confirms you get update for news in November? That is very interesting. I do think they, like, 
I, I haven't finished it yet, so no spoilers for the Fallout TV show. Um, I think they, they definitely have so much room to just keep going with it. Like, they could tell so many different stories, because, like, the most important thing is, like, the world. Well, obviously the writing as well. Um, I, but they're doing really, like, the writing is really good. So, yeah. I think I can think, think they could do a lot with it. Um, and this is coming from, like, I am a massive Fallout fan, if you didn't know this about me. Um, Fallout New Vegas is tied for my favorite game of all time with Red Dead Redemption 2. The Nancy games, unfortunately, come second for me. Probably, like, Secret Shadow Ranch would be my second, second favorite game of all time. But, God, I love Fallout New Vegas so much. It might actually become my, like, first favorite game. I don't know. I don't know. No, it's not, Michael. <laughs> I also will never understand how Matt can date a girl his best friend dated and is clearly not over yet. Yeah, it's very weird. It's very weird. They gay. <laughs> Do not like Secret of the Scarlet Hand. Yeah, I'm not a fan of that one either. It's uh, it's a bit tedious. I honestly don't know what I'm supposed to be doing right now. I need to, maybe I need to read. I'll put all the gemstones back. Well, I don't have all the gemstones, do I? Oh, sh shoot, I do. Look at that. I, I censored myself on the fly. <laughs> I do have all the gemstones. Let's jam them in there. Whoa, gamers. Hey, Peach, how are you? Snuggly always brings in the best gay drama. I'm here to serve in multiple ways. You know what I mean? Um, so I definitely, in the future, I have like a lgbtq plus nancy drew theories video planned at some point i i but literally i tell you i have like five years worth of uh video ideas so you know don't worry if you think i'm not gonna be here for a while, if i'm gonna stop making videos i have too many ideas i i can't stop until they're all done and i keep having new ones i actually oh just this week other than ideas for secret the seven Secret Mystery of the Seven Keys videos, which are t entirely separate. I got two two new video ideas just this week, so I that to make a huge list. But yeah, I've got a ton of ideas I want to do for uh, Mystery of the Seven Keys that I'm excited about. Um, when did this one come out, chat? I think that it's kind of... Um, I, I would say it's older, but like not old. <laughs> Maybe like 2010 this game came out? 2009? I changed my name! Oh, it's an old account anyway. My fave Nancy Drew games are Blackmore Manor, Danger by Design, Shadow Ranch, Waverly. My least favorites are Silent Spy and Shadow Medallion. Oh, okay. Those are some good ones. Shadow Ranch, Waverly, definitely high up there for me. Danger by Design is interesting because I feel like you don't often hear people cite that as one of their favorites. Not that I'm saying it's a bad game, but I feel like Blackmore, Shadow Ranch, and Waverly, I do hear a lot of people being like, that's my favorite Nancy Drew. But I I feel like it's rare to hear people say they love Danger by Design as much, which is cool. I think that game is so unhinged. I love it. Um, I'm sorry to feel like make you feel like you're pressured to change your name, though. My these are Silent Shadow Spy and Spy and Shadow. Wait, <laughs> Silent Spy and Shadowed Medallion. I can get behind those being your least favorite. They are not ones I particularly enjoy, but I'm going to be streaming um, Silent Spy soon because, like I say, I'm trying to play all the. Nancy Drew game set in the UK. Kyler is delusional. She thinks Matt will change just because they got married. I know she's like, he will never prank again once we're married. And it's like, okay, first of all, you want to change his entire personality? Also, no way is he going to stop doing that. That's his entire personality. Oh my God, it's bad. I'm having these Chinese instant noodles. It's really good, but yeah, I usually stream real late for me, so it's hard for me to catch a stream. I know, it's like a weird time zone. Um, but I'm glad you can be here this time. I'm glad you're enjoying your instant noodles as well. Also a huge Fallout fan. They're just great games. You've got taste. I'm picking through nostalgia because I played them with my grandma going, growing up. I love that. I love that. It's so sweet. Favorites, Phantom of Venice, Ghost Dogs, and Capu Cave. Finally, some love for my girl, Capu Cave. Unappreciated. Just a nice, chill game. Least favorite might be White Wolf. And don't hate me because I have very fond memories of playing the Spa Pays dossier. 
Hotspot Spa Spa based dossier game. Interesting. I've actually only played the dossier games once. I need to play them again. Um, but I feel like I have to be in a particular mood to play them. Um, but those are some good ones. Ghost Dogs, Kaku Cave especially. Least Favorite White Wolf is interesting because I don't think White Wolf is an amazing game. It's an amazing game, but I think the vibes for me and the characters are enough to like save it from being my least favorite. Love that they changed the move mechanics to something that's only slightly better than the original. Um, this is Mac, by the way. Oh, hey! Oh my god! Yeah, I, I would never have known. Mac, how the heck are you doing? Oh my god! Oh my god, just sneak up on me like that. I hope you've been doing well. I, this is, no, actually, I was gonna, I was gonna tell, tell a secret, and I will not, because it's not an official secret yet. That makes zero sense. I'm so sorry for, like, teasing that. Wait, wait, oh, do I, what happened? Did I not do it right? Is it? Hello? Excuse me. Do I not know that I have to do this yet? Is that what it is? They're not going to let me sequence break the game? Fine. I have, I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing, but apparently not that. <laughs> Still have to do that. Oh, put all the, did I not put all the gemstones? But I can click all of them. Hence, making me think that I've put in all the gemstones. Who needs drag race when you have snuggly TV show Kate news about the Drew? She serves the tea, the library is always open for her to read. <laughs> Danger by design because it makes me laugh how, how bizarre it is. That is a very good reason. Meaning to change my username anyway. Okay, okay. Okay. That reassures me. Um, yeah, oh my god. The, the final sequence of that game. I fought imaginary elves that were stronger than you. Where did that come from? Where did that come from? But I just love it. It's, it's possibly the best line in any Nancy Deer game. <sighs> okay, wait, what am I doing? Large gear. I haven't done Do that. I have all I don't think I have all the gears. Um That's not the gearbox. Where's the gearbox? Is it over here? Um how many do I need? Ten, ten of each or 10 in total? 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11? 12? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Ten oh, 10 and 10. Okay, I do need more. Fine, I didn't want to do that puzzle anyway. Um, can I count I haven't that? Done that? Hmm. Use the ink. I don't think I can do this yet. That doesn't get me anything. Where did I find the plank? I thought it was in the nursery, but maybe it's behind like the secret door, which apparently I can't open yet. My top five right now are Ash, Spy, Ghost Thorn Hall, Tomb, Tomb, the Frizzra. Why? <laughs> why? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but why? Last train. Last train is great. Why do you have Last Train on the same list as Tomb and Ghost of Thornton Hall? I have a feeling Key might make it up there, there though. Okay, nice. Yeah, it it definitely is looking good. I'm a Last Train of Blue and Canyon girly till I die. Yes, yes, it's so good. I feel like I can play that forever and never get tired of it. I'm glad you finally said I had taste. Um, you said I didn't when I said Deadly Device is the best Nancy Drew game. Selective taste. <laughs> How about that? Boot, surprise! I'm doing well, just living the most any of us can. Preach. How has school and everything been for you? Makes me happy seeing you living life to the fullest. I'm trying. I'm trying my best. Although now I'm feeling like anxiety. I'm like, maybe I should stay in the UK a little bit longer. Because like, if I just go back home, I'm going to go back to the job I was probably working before. And it's like... Well, how interesting is that? Not very, but I'm not, yeah, I'm having a bit of a crisis about it, but school is going pretty good. The program, 
I think isn't quite as good as I expected. Um, they had some budget cuts, which meant it's not as good. Some of the people, like they're not, they're not mean per se, they're just like snobs. But there are also some really good people in my program. My writing I've been okay with. Um, I, ha I feel like there's only been one thing I've written this semester or this year that I've absolutely loved. But I might have the start of a novel on my hands, but I also feel like a bit unenthusiastic about this novel. But anyway, um, but getting to go on all these like opportunities to like explore London, go on trips of, uh, throughout Europe has been incredible. And I, I think it's a good experience to like live in a different city at the very least. Anyone who's into palindromes like this, like me, this morning we had a double 420-24 on- Wait, it's 420 today? I totally forgot it was 420 today. I feel like usually on 420 you see people going like, Hey, 420, whoa, it's 420, bro. I didn't see any of that. I totally forgot what day it was. Puzzle nearly broke me the first time. It's a doozy if you don't know that you need a certain amount of gears. See every all done. Oh, okay. I just need to look at the gems. I guess what? I don't have anything that I can do except maybe binary. Must be a way to get what's on the inside. Oh, can I do the stone wall thing? I don't think so. I think I need the lenses. How do I get the lenses for the for the crosses? I forget this game. You have a lead? No. Catch you later. As soon as you find out anything, let me know. Not gonna lie, from an outsider perspective, Nancy would absolutely be the main suspect for all these murders. Oh, she just happens to be at every single ghost haunting and murder. You know what? You're right. It does make her seem very suspicious. There's two little twink brothers she runs around with. Oh, that's too fucking good. Oh, man. The Hardy Boys. I like the setting of Tomb. The story, the characters, and everything is good to me. Not to mention I can play that one without cheating on the puzzles. How? I feel like that game's so easy to get stuck in. Um, oh my gosh. Yeah, I, I feel like I would like the story more if they did, or the setting more if they did more with it. Like, I wanted to get out of the tomb a bit more. Maybe go to, like, a little market or something. I don't know. I would love to see Nancy ride the Sphinx like it's a horse and she's a cowgirl. Where is that phone card of mine? Where is that phone card of mine? We're not going to call Ned. I am. I'm, I'm doing a master's in creative Hi, writing right up? now, see? Just checking in. What's new there? Nancy, this is the best party ever. Translation, amazing, amazing abs. Twice. Have you seen Ned? When I oh, that does sound like a fun party. They're playing Marco Polo. We kind of have to now. Don't Ned cheated on you at this party, Nancy. McNabb here, and all her bikini-clad boy crazy splendor. And when she saw Ned and didn't see you, Beeline City, Ned has wisely gone into hiding. Hmm. Poor Ned. That's what he gets. Poor Ned. So how are you doing now? Gone into hiding with Minky or whatever the heck her name was. Snobs in academia. I'm shocked. I know. I know. Oh my god. Ashley, you read my mind before I even read that message. That's exactly what I wanted to do. Well, maybe not the nerd part. But be Bess and George. I I needed a hint. <laughs> if I'm really desperate, then I call nerd. What are you talking about? There's an old Irish saying. When it what are you talking like about? Go see Madam I just got a That's fortune from her. Saying. I know, but you get the picture. What are they talking about? She's, I, I've got multiple messages from her, and none of them have That's helped. It from here. I got the little whisk. Did I get the whisk from her? What did I get from her? I don't think it was. It might have been one of the dolls. Okay, let's. I am desperate now. We're gonna have to call that. <laughs> oh, nerd Nickerson. Sounds amazing. Sorry. Hi. So, what's going on at the party? 
Yeah, it sounds busy back there. It is Minky! I thought I was making that up. Minky McNab is like the best side character name. Ned, are you hiding from her? Why would I be hiding Sorry that the UK has been its classic now. British self because and the classes, well but the places and experiences must be such an inspiration. Write that book. Mineral. Thank you for the encouragement, she Mac. And yeah, definitely the there. places and the experiences okay, so have been I wonderful. Oh, he doesn't even have any hints! Don't worry. I'll figure something out. In the meantime, let's Gosh, talk about what you've darn been doing, it. Okay? No, I let's not. Just be careful over there. I will. Talk to you soon. I unbelievable. I called nerd, and he didn't even have a single itty bitty hint for me. Let's see if Donald has anything to What's say. What's on your mind, then? Sometimes I hear this strange kind of wailing sound when I'm in the castle. Have you ever heard it? These ears don't work so well now. Oh, CE, e, that's so exciting. Why are you um, wavering on it, if you don't mind me asking? That's awesome that you're a writer as well. What kind of stuff do you write? Like fiction, poetry, screenplays? Tomb is pretty easy to me. I do only play on amateur slash junior mode. Well, me too. <laughs> Never got stuck when I played that one. You're smarter than me, I think. Um... Yeah, I, I don't know. I, I haven't played that one too many times, to be honest, but I find the puzzles... I remember the puzzles being kind of challenging, and I remember getting stuck. Someone in the castle is going to die. Well, please God, I hope it's Kyler, I guess. Kit's too hot to die, and I don't want myself to die, so... Sorry, it's, got, it's gotta be someone Kyler. Someone in the castle is going to die? Aye. Someone as in Matt. Oh, actually, that would be good. How they know what they know and why they do what they do are mysteries far beyond Martha's Have I solution. missed something about but that fortune telling us, machine? Someone at Castle Malloy is doomed. Maybe it's you. Yes, I'll go now. Fine with me. We might eye contact. We squinted at each other. We had a moment. Okay. Oh my, this is not going well for my goal to finish this game before Mystery of the Seven Keys comes out. Sheep! Sheep, hear my call. Heed my cry. Ah. Where's the... Have I not looked at this yet, maybe? Is that my problem? No, I'm pretty sure I have looked at this. I can't believe Bess and George gave me the worst hint ever. <laughs> Pros of staying in the UK, culture and architecture. Abundance of inspiration. Cons, Brits, <laughs> beans on toast. <laughs> Honestly, I think mushy peas are worse than beans on toast. That's a worse crime. Did I look at everything on here? Yeah. Okay, Madame Ishabille. Give me a give me a hint, girly. I'm gonna waste all my money on this stupid fortune teller. I, oh, she does actually give hints. Like hint. Um. Oh, jeez. There's a lot of these questions, but I feel like some of them I just can't do yet. I just want to know what I should be doing right now. Um, I'm gonna either ask about the blocks and the scale, or the gate. Does anyone have any... Or the... Yeah. Like, what would what would everyone else say I should pick? Also, comparing Tomb to Labyrinth of Lies, both games are about mythology and stuff, but Lie bored me. Yes, I agree. Um, but I, I think Tomb is also boring. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Um, but teach their own. Teach their own. I always say that's what makes these games so magical, is that we each... Um, love different things about them. I love when you call for hints and they're just like, mm, sorry, skill issue. <laughs> yeah, it's like, come on now, <laughs> please. I was vulnerable with you. I reached out to you, bestie. Your school sounds like Waverly minus the black cat. If only it was as interesting as Waverly. Actually, there has been a bit, some drama that I wasn't involved in. But it's been juicy to watch it from the sidelines. Um, but 
Unfortunately, not that juicy. Maybe I should start being like the black cat just to spice things up a little. Like start like anonymously texting people in like weird slang that no one uses. Her really loves tormenting us with alternative hint systems in these games. Lulu and the fortune teller are unhinged. Yeah, it is a bit weird. I also hate hint hotline. That's in some of the later games. That thing is just useless. Also, Paul, how are you? Donald Delaney is my second favorite character behind Dexter Egan. Really, Matthew? That is surprising. I can understand the Dexter love, but I, I'm sorry, I don't understand the Donal love. Can you tell me why? <laughs> I like mostly fiction, and I'm wavering because it's expensive, and since I'm in the U.S., I'd have to take out more loans. Who knows, though? I'll see what happens. Fair enough. Yeah, it definitely has been an expensive experience for me with the exchange rate. Um, luckily, I had savings, uh, an RESP that stowed some money in it, and my parents helped me out a little. Thank God. I am so lucky to be in this position um and so privileged but yeah definitely i have the ma very major concern of coming out of this year incredibly broke <laughs> which uh yeah but i i still think it's worth it i still think it's worth it i i think yeah living in a different different city especially a different um country than what you're familiar with is such an, uh, like, I don't know, a valuable experience in so many ways. Also great for being a writer. I started in the UK for a month two years ago, and I'm with you on the mushy peas. They serve them in fish and chips at pubs, and I'm like, why? <laughs> yeah, it's, I don't understand why they like mush so much. It's wild. Um, did you like studying in the UK previously? Also, what kind of fiction do you like to write, if you don't mind me asking? It's too bad. They never made a game based in Egypt. I know. It probably would have been really boring and difficult. <laughs> um, hmm. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Okay, no, no one has given me a hint about what to ask her about. I guess I have enough money I can ask both. What's the secret to using those little blocks to balance that scale with three trays in the library? Help me out. You better help me out, Madame Ishabiel, or I swear to God, I will punch right through that glass case and pull your mechanical head off. Use the chart in the drawer. Eventually, you'll see, the blocks must add up to 100 times 3. Eventually. Can I not do this now? Also, if I click this, is it going to poof into dust and the hint will disappear? Because that would not be helpful. Why couldn't Bess and George just have given me a hint? I don't have to pay them for hints. They gave me hints for free. What would you want more? Fallout New Vegas remake or two? Like a sequel to Fallout New Vegas? I'd want a Fallout New Vegas sequel if um, Obsidian made it and they gave them a lot of time to make it. Um, I honestly, I like Fallout New Vegas as it is. There's probably almost not a thing that I would change about it except for some like stability issues. Um, things like that. Got to go to worse, but it was work <laughs> worse, but it was nice to check in again. You're always close over my heart, Snug, as always, wishing you the best. Keep in touch. Mac, I feel totally the same. I hope you are doing well. Um, I hope your day at work goes amazing and you keep being amazing. And I hope music has been going great for you as well. Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate you. Have an absolutely lovely day. Are there people in your program? People in your program tortured poets? I wish I could give a hint, but I never play this one. Yeah, me neither. <laughs> That's the problem. Um, they're more like tortured fiction writers. I think the problem with some of them, like this is not, it's definitely not true about all of them, but some of them are like a little echo chamber for each other where they're like, these are the only books that are like, people can read. That writers read. These are the books that writers read. And they don't, they don't, like, read other ones. So they're always talking about the same books. And I'm like, god damn, read, like, a romance novel every once in a while or something. Jeez, light it up. They should put the Hintmaster in Nancy Drew. They should put the Hintmaster in every game. I 100% agree. His accent to talk about the good people is just entertaining to me. Fair enough. Fair enough. Broke enough to go to Prague. I envy that brokest. Hey, I said at the end of the year. At the end of the year. Um... 
I still have some saving savings as of now. But I was also only in Prague for a day. Also, things were pretty cheap in Prague. Like, I, we got, like, an amazing meal for quite cheap. Um, I'm not gonna remember this. I hope it doesn't poof. Thanks. There goes more of my hard-earned cash. I would like a hint. Um. Oh, so I I could pay her again to get her to give me the same hint. Why can't I just keep the hint? I'd sure like to see the rest of the castle grounds. Any idea how to open the gate in that stone wall? Loaded question. My steering went out while I was driving yesterday while I'm visiting another state. I think when I had to get my car towed and I'm a bit stranded. Paul, oh no. Oh my god, I hope it gets resolved quickly. That's so stressful. Oh my god. Yeah, I, ho I hope you get your car back ASAP and you're able to get out of there. Holy heck. That's terrifying. I'm so sorry. That's stupid. I knew that. But I just don't know how to get the thing. I would like a hint. How can I get blown a all, officially blown all, all my money on this stupid lady? <sighs> Not helpful. Not helpful. Not helpful. Where do I get the, the glass lenses? I haven't done that. Have I, is there something else you want to see on the grounds? Like, I feel like I'm really missing something, but I don't know what it is. Like, I don't know, do I, I don't have the lenses, do I? For the crosses. No. <sighs> I loved being in the UK when I studied there. It was awesome. I wrote mostly speculative fiction, so fantasy, sci-fi, magical realism. That is awesome. I feel like those are some of, like, they can be hard of the, some of the hardest, like, types of fiction to write. Because you have to basically, like, create whole worlds and rules in your brain. Um, I don't quite have the imagination for that. I write, like, lit fig. Oh, was I should have read this before? I, Kyler, choose you, Matt. Why am what am I doing? This is wrong. This is wrong. Oh, I probably was supposed to find that. That might have been what I was missing. So, yeah. <laughs> All signs point to this being... A terrible marriage. Why Why are you doing it, Kyler? What are you doing? Ashley, that would have been smart. Except I'm using my phone to look at chat. If only Nancy had a phone in this game. I'll just have to use my impeccable memory to <laughs> remember all those hints. Something something 300. What's going on? Okay, he has nothing later, to say. Okay? Stay out of trouble. Kit, can you just leave I so I can look at your stuff? Around, not with Kit right there. Doesn't he want to stretch his legs a little? Go beat someone else up? Speaking of Obsidian games, I wanted the Knights of the Old Republic 3. Uh, yeah, I've heard really good things about um, the Knights of the Old Republic games, but I'm not a huge Star Wars fan, so I, I, I think I started playing one, but I never finished it. What? Let you get back I thought I could game. talk to her good about luck. this. This incredibly dramatic and gospy note that's like her her, she, her writing her vows and doubting herself are your fellow classmates too snobby for the nancy drew books oh 100 percent. i have some of them on goodreads and i'm kind of scared whenever i add a nancy drew book that they're gonna judge me luckily the thing is most people don't know who nancy drew is in the uk um which is both a blessing and a curse mainly a curse to be honest because I need more people who understand my love for the Nancy Drew games. But I guess, then again, it's rare to find people who are, just in general. 
Like, none of my friends at home are big Nancy Drew fans either. Like, basically all my Nancy Drew fans I met online. Nancy Drew fans. Nancy Drew friends. Oh my god. <laughs> no, Nancy Drew... Yeah, Nancy... But friends who are Nancy Drew fans. There you go. Uh, let me just cut you off there. <laughs> What am I missing? I don't think I'm missing anything. I think I've been to like every, every important spot on these grounds. Bess and George won't ha help me. Ned won't help me. Let's go speak to Donald again. They think they can fix it today. Okay, that would be good. That would be really good. A red stay. Oh God, that is scary. Yeah, fingers crossed it does get fixed today and as soon as possible. Please, Donald. What's on your mind? No! I should get back to the castle. Be careful out there. Okay, yes. maybe I'll try to do that weighing puzzle the with the weights. Or is there something I need to find, like, out here at all? I think there's, like, there's some of the, one of the flowers you would later need to find is out here. Yeah, but that's just a flower. And I don't need to find that right now. <laughs> I feel like there's so many things I just, I found that I can't do yet. Like nothing I found can I do right now. I, I, I've definitely done this stupid slider puzzle. I could try doing more of the dollhouse puzzles, I guess. Kyler and Matt, toxic relationship. The very definition of toxic relationship. Also, how are you feeling about my new camera angle? I was dissatisfied with the other one, so I'm trying out new ones. I'm still not 100% sure if I like it or not. I feel like whenever I move, it takes me a while to like adjust and find like a camera angle that I like. I still miss like my, when I lived with my parents, my first like setup. That was just like the most flattering setup ever. And I look back at it and I'm like, oh my God, the lighting in that place is so flattering. <laughs> It was so good. Not knowing Nancy True, that's culture shock right there. I know. I know. Wait, what am I doing? Oh, I was going to look at the, the dollhouse. I've already done at least one of these, and it only got me money. I don't think... I, or do you ever need to do one of these? I can't remember. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Directly, directly. Hmm. Okay, the rocket horse directly next to pig. Cow directly above pig. Rocking horse somewhere. Oh, this this is a hard. This is a hard. Oh wait, but it's wait. It's directly no, it's directly next to the knight. On this level. Okay, I think this one is here. Little blondie. Thank you, CE. Hey, Santane, how are you? I would love to hear any and all of your opinions on Mystery of the Seven Keys. And the new trailer and the release date. Oh my god. Wait, wait, this this little fellow, Matt. No, that's not Matt. No, it's not Matt. It's this little fellow. It's directly below the cat. Okay, so that's right. Do we, I think we have everyone. Check. No? What? What have I done wrong? Fact check me, chat. Fact checked me, check me. Directly, directly. To the side of... No, they've got a knight in between them. No, and he's directly... What? Pr 
pro. Zipper is attached. Con cannot zip myself in and out of it. Oh, well, I mean, at least you'll have friends when you're doing the photo shoot, right? Maybe they can help. Doing a reading goal on Goodreads, and I've read approximately 20 Nancy Drew books this year. But I, yo, oh my god, no, count them, Paul. Count them. 10? 10 is still a really high number. 100% count them. I do. Like, that, that's reading. That is reading. Um, also, if you need, you can hide certain updates from your Goodreads friends if you really want to. Horse and pig. But the pig is directly next to the horse. Is that wrong? Is it, is it on the wrong side? No. Oh, okay. Oh my God, Ashley, you're making me like doubt myself. Um. Uh, hmm. I really don't see how this is wrong. Do these other, no, these other ones don't need to be there. Like, I don't understand. This should be right, from all I can see. Get what you mean by reading different books. I read lots of literary stuff, but it tends to be depressing, especially if I'm not in a great mood. So now I'm reading El Enchanted. Yeah, the perfect palate cleanser. Like, I do love reading literary fiction. I find it quite inspiring a lot of the time. But it is nice to read, like, other stuff as well. And I think that is beneficial for your writing to read a huge variety of stuff and not just like one specific type of fiction, even if you're not necessarily gonna write that. Like, I don't know. You always hear people say like, reading is like, to be a good writer, you have to read a lot. And I think that's true. Like, and even reading stuff that is bad, being able to recognize what is bad writing is also important. Or bad. <laughs> Good, I'm stoked for the new game. Intrigued by the options for navigation control. Yeah, I'm excited to test them out. I hope they don't have the up and down camera like in Midnight in Salem, because I didn't think that added much. Are the blonde and man dolls supposed to be moved over at all? I tried that a bit. Like, she is directly... No, but they've got one in between them. They've got one in between them. I have done this. Oh, yeah, and he's there. He has to be there. You are what you read. I'm Nancy True. <laughs> Navigation was my biggest annoyance with mid. I, what was my biggest annoyance with mid? I don't know. I, th I think there's no one main thing that annoyed me about mid. There are a few like small ones that kind of prickled at me. I just realized this is, this is Castle Malloy. I, <laughs> I've never realized that before. That's the room Kyler is sitting in. This is the haunted nursery. That's the corridor. That's the secret room. That's like the downstairs area with the big fireplace. How the heck have I never realized that? That's what you get when you stare at this for way too long. I have not accomplished, I don't think, a single thing since starting this stream. This is really bad. I'm like, I want to finish this game before Key comes out. <laughs> this is not voting well. I, I literally don't see how this can be wrong. I hate this puzzle, and I'm done. <laughs> I, so I feel like I should be able to do this. Am I just doing it the wrong way? <gasps> I'm really having to censor myself right now. The swears that are bursting to come out with, from me. You know, traditionally, in the Western world, you would read left to right. So you think left starts. No! <laughs> In this case, no. Wow, that's what I was waiting for. Unbe unbelievable. I'm I'm upset. <laughs> Not gonna lie, I'm upset. Why? Why, Lord, why? I love reading, but I also do it with audiobooks because my ADHD will kick in. I read a whole chapter and not remember anything. Yes, I love audiobooks. I love audiobooks so much. I listen to them all the time. That's part of the reason why I end up reading so much is because I listen to a lot of audiobooks. I hate people who say audiobooks aren't reading. It's ableist and it's stupid. Okay. Wow. Okay. Wow. <laughs> okay. 
<sighs> oh! Menace my bird, the birds! It's the birds in here. Oh my god, are you okay? I'm having my birds moment. Oh my, oh my god, that that's no bird. Whoa, it's pretty spooky. Close the window, Nancy, close the window. be a logical explanation for what we just saw yeah so logical explanation down, it was an old lady on a jetpack that's very, very logical that discover what that thing was no i we know it was it matt out, in a Nancy? wig in a jetpack <laughs> that's the only logical explanation kyler oh my god i'm so mad <laughs> All done. I'm so mad. All done. <laughs> that was ridiculous. I remember this puzzle. I was upset. I am also upset. Upset. I completely understand that. I feel like I haven't had trouble with it before. But oh my, must need to do something first. Yeah. Wish I remembered any of this game, but I haven't played it for years. I think it's like really indicative of what people think of this game and the fact that so many people in chat are like, yeah, I don't, I don't remember this game. I don't really play it. I haven't played it in years. And that that's true for me too. Like this is not a hugely widely loved Nancy Drew game. It's not at my bottom tier, but it's definitely not at the top for me. <sighs> I read The Swerve recently, which is about how the rediscovery of Luke Preciouses on the nature of things before the Renaissance contributed to our concept of moderni modernity. Oh my god, which was interesting. That sounds very interesting. I guess I haven't even heard of Lucretius before. If you couldn't tell from the way I pronounced the name, that definitely sounds interesting. A very staticky, very. That's like a before pick in one of those like app makeover game ads like you know the ones where the girl comes in she's like covered in mud and they're like play this game get her uncovered from mud we know you want to we know you want to <laughs> yeah the delayed scream actually i think that was kyler's scream it, that's what the caption said like Nancy, Nancy wouldn't scream. She's not afraid of a mouse. Although actually, she does shriek at rats before <laughs> in, in other games, so it doesn't hold up. There's some cool stuff about manuscript preservation and how ancient texts get passed down to us. It does often like blow my mind, um, how like we still have some like texts from like hundreds and hundreds of years ago, and that they have been preserved. It's incredible. Okay, I only just, like, realized how this works. Um, I didn't realize that, the, like, the number of rocks made, like, a huge difference. But it does. The shriek sound effect. The shriek is creepy. Storm from X-Men in her retirement years. People who love to throw the, um, the you're just lazy around. It's so rude. Forget some people do actually struggle. Exactly. Completely. It's a totally valid format of reading. Ugh. Kyler leaves the room once to see the banshee. Sure. Kyler and her reading tiara. Yeah, don't you dress up as a princess whenever you read books? It was Matt and Drag. Welcome to the stage. Okay, wait. This is this is forward one. I'm not going to fall into the bog. I'm manifesting now. I'm not going to fall into the bog. Wait, so this is... Right one. This this is forward two. I'm not gonna fall into the bog. I am not going to fall into the bog. Right two. I'm not gonna fall into the bog. It's not gonna happen. Forward two. I am staying out of the bog. I'm staying high and dry. This is left two. I'm not even gonna consult the paper anymore. <laughs> <laughs> That's how hubristic I am. Okay, never mind. That bit I said about not falling into the bog? That was a lie. 
Manifestation doesn't work. You all lied to me. <laughs> you said manifestation works. Mm, I fell in head first. Nancy definitely died from that. We were talking about bog mummies last time. Nancy bog mummy now. <laughs> Nancy's bog mother. <laughs> I absorb nothing from audiobooks. I wish I could do those. See, it used to be me, but the thing is, if I'm listening to an audiobook, I can't be just sitting and listening to an audiobook. For me particularly, like, I listen to an audiobook if I'm, like, cooking or cleaning or walking. Those are the times when I feel like I can focus on audiobooks, like, if I'm doing something else. But even still, sometimes I, like, miss a bit because I'm not paying attention. Yes, product project makeover. Did you really, Chris? Oh my god, would you would have been the mud covered person in the commercial if you were bog nap. Bog swim. <laughs> Crow came down to mock you. It really did. We bogged you down. Badum tss. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. I I like that um I don't know what I did wrong, first of all. Um but I think they implied that um, the crow we keep seeing is the banshee in a different form. So that was the banshee, everyone. I fall into the bog even with a walkthrough. Yeah, maybe I was foolish to think I was better than that. <laughs> like, I, 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 in my brain, I, I understand this puzzle, but apparently I messed up. <laughs> If that wasn't obvious for me falling into the bog and dying. Oh, that's bad. What? What do you mean? I need to consult the walkthrough more, I think. <laughs> Not the walkthrough, the paper. I need to triple check what I'm doing. Lest I die again. By the time Kit and Kyler arrived, you'd only sign- Oh, and then they die as well. We've had this one. <laughs> Last time, I think. Kyler attitude to everything is something else. Talk about gaslighting yourself. Yeah, she's she's got serious problems. Talland man whom? Is that one of the famous bog mummies? A bog buddy. Body. Bog buddy. <laughs> she's a bog buddy. Exactly. Yeah, walk, clean activity. Podcasts as well. Okay. I'm gonna just triple check every single move I make. Every move I make, every step I take. Didn't I do that? Didn't I do down one when it was that rock? I am, I cannot believe this. Forward one. And this is right one, or it should be. Forward two? Yeah, it's got two hats. Okay, and that's, Right one. No, right two? Oh. Okay. Forward two. It changes with the different rocks. That's confusing. Oh, that's a lot of little stones. Left. Is that four? Left four? This is gonna be it. Third time's the charm. I'm feeling it now. I feel it in my bones. My bones, I tell you. That's down to. I know in my bones I'm not gonna become a bog mummy. That's left two. Down three? Is that down three? Whoa! It's crazy! It's crazy moves. My god, we're still going. This is so long. Might get more into audiobooks if I had a longer commute. Yeah, they are ideal for a long commute. Have to be doing something at the same time. Yeah, driving. Driving is very good moment to listen to audiobooks. I miss my car. I miss driving. <laughs> Aww. I almost clicked down. That would have been bad. We would have gone in the bog for sure. Okay, left one. I think I've got it. I think I've cracked it. Forward two. I didn't. I didn't check my my code. It's risky. Right one. Forward two. 
come on, I must be almost there. This is ridiculous. Come on, how am I not there yet? How big is this bog? That's just forward one, right? Oh! Beaten the ball bog. <laughs> oh my god. I always forget how long that is. This is such a pretty little hut though. A little cute little hut. A little total Hagrid's hut. Um FJK rolling um trans rights forever because she sucks. I feel like every time I mention Harry Potter now I have to mention that because she sucks and I don't support her in any way and I think she's very harmful. And I support trans rights. Um and not JK Rowling. Anyway, but it does look like that. <laughs> oh, I was playing an elf who was critiquing the characters in the game with Christmas themed hot or not catchphrases. Oh my gosh, that's so random. Do you remember any of the catchphrases? What is cognitive behavioral therapy if not gaslighting yourself? Ew. Ew. Oh, that's one of the, that's one of the things. That's one of the lenses, or maybe the lens. I can't remember if there's just one lens. Okay, great. Another one of these for me to torture myself through. Looks like I need a key. I think you mean it's locked, Nancy. Excuse me. Hmm. Okay. Oh, I thought it said trashy. <laughs> okay, we want um. Something that gets rid of Bugbane. Tansy, Penny Royal, Wormwood, Thyme, and Catnip. Tansy, Penny Royal, Wormwood, Thyme, Catnip? Was that it? Yeah. Look at me, I'm an herbalist. And she just throws it on the bugs. Okay, nice. We got we got the lens. Lens get. Me doing every Nancy Drew puzzle in my brain. I know the solution in practice, not so much. Yeah, I feel like sometimes I definitely get tripped up doing these puzzles. Is that the only thing I can do right now in here? Check. Um. Did that. I haven't done Okay, that. I haven't done that yet. All done. Did that. Did that. And the good news is we never have to do the bog puzzle again. Bog gone it. There's like nothing on this side to see. Is there something here that I missed? Oh, I thought that said common squirrel. <laughs> My reading comprehension is not good today. To summon a banshee when the moon is full in the month of May. Next month. Next month, hot time for summoning banshees, chat. I hope you're ready. <laughs> I hope you've got your, your banshee summoning re remedy ready. <laughs> beaten the boy. <laughs> to, be, to be candid, no boys were beaten. No boys were beaten, I swear. Staying alive. <laughs> In your bones, you'll actually become a bog mommy. Yeah, I, I, I feel like it's kind of mandatory in this day and age, especially because, like, I get suspicious if I, I hear anyone else mention um, Harry Potter and then is not immediately critical of J.K. Rowling. Um, and, like, yeah, just giving Harry Potter a platform in, in 2024 is, like, kind of just sus in itself. I have some Harry Potter themed clothing from indie artists. I think like those are okay. Every time I got compliments, I say thank you. I do not condone get JK good. Yeah, especially I feel like, I don't know, like yeah, definitely don't support her financially at all. Fuck them bugs. That would be my motto if I worked in pest control. Charm for safety. I think Nancy needed that when she was crossing the bug. The bug? <laughs> crossing the bog. 
Ward against disease. Oh, I'm gonna go around tying a bunch of mint, mint around my my wrist. Ward off COVID. <laughs> you, you don't need any vaccines if you got a sprig of mint. <laughs> oh no. Um, charm for safety. Yeah, Nancy, get get the that yarrow. Mine placed in the stocking to be tread upon. Yeah, get that yarrow, Nancy. One given back to the spirits. Where's the yarrow? Oh no, there's no yarrow. I'm doomed. I'm doomed. Okay, now have I done everything? Still have to do that. Is it because I can't do some of these things yet? Like, I can't stuff the little doll. I can't get in here. Is it just because I haven't been able to look in there that she's like, I can't get a really good look? Because I feel like I've seen everything else. Oh, well, we have some things to do. We can always come back. <laughs> it, yeah, this hut reeks. It probably smells so nasty. I wonder what was in that cage as well that all the flies loved it so much. Something dead. Nancy loves spraying bugs with pesticides. She's done that in like three or four games. Yeah, she could like put that on her resume and get a job <laughs> doing that at this point. Okay, wait, I need my notebook. I need my notebook. First time cracking it out this stream. Let's go. So how do I summon my personal banshee in May? Sorry, you just have to know the right people <laughs> to have that information. <laughs> it's confidential. You either know it or you don't. It's <laughs> passed on um, generation by generation. Okay. This is 1845. Wiggly squiggly. Uh, this is 1916. Little diamond. Almost like a Twin Peaks symbol. The Twin Peaks owl symbol. But not quite at the same time. <laughs> it's got some of the same elements. Oh, and then this- wait, what, what's the- what year is this? 1801. We got a little Beyblade. Oh, this is an adventure to draw. A fun adventure, though. Whee! Okay, cool. So, 1801, then 1845, then 1916. Okay, sweet. Ready to- to break down the Berlin Wall. <laughs> oh god. Yeah, that's the problem, Paul. You can probably find somewhere to pirate it or buy it secondhand. I bet, like, if, if you, especially if you play on console, I think you could probably find somewhere that's selling it secondhand, like played. Wiggly squiggly, and then the little Twin Peaks. Ba bam, and that's how you solve a puzzle. Oh, now I'm so ready for May to summon my Banshee. It's gonna be May. Time to summon the Banshee. Specifically, the Elf movie. Weird. Um. Oh wait, wait. Oh, and, oh my God, that. That sheep just teleported out of existence. <laughs> Catches is improvised by me in the moment. Says like, her hair reminds me of yummy gumdrops. Or some other cheesy elf-like quotes. That's cute. <laughs> well, glad I'm not missing anything, yeah. Deeply mediocre. Okay. Free a game pass. That's, that's a shame. Actually, you know what? That's not a shame. <laughs> FJK Rowling. I don't want anything she makes to be good. And to be honest, she hasn't really done anything great since she wrote the Harry Potter books. I hate this puzzle. It's so difficult. Okay, we're, but we don't have to do it yet. That's, that's the good news. The bad news is we will have to do it. Check. I haven't done that. Okay. Oh, 
I'll take one May Banshee, perhaps. You could say <laughs> Mayhaps. <laughs> Sorry, that was really bad. F Organics. Nancy does accept lots of unpaid positions for some reason, yeah. She's got money. She's I bet she's got a trust fund. She's got some kind of security going on. She's literally kind of a Nepo baby because, you know, her dad is a lawyer, already involved in, like, the world of criminal investigation. Um, so she has, she has connections through Daddy Drew. I just like open world games like Spider-Man or Baldur's Gate 3 or Red Dead, so it seemed up my alley, yeah. I do like a good open world game as well. Red Dead 2 is so great. Actually, Red Dead 1 is pretty good as well. It's got a completely different tone, but I also really like it. Kit Foley, property developer, Tower Hamlets, London. Should we call, should we call Kit Foley on the phone? Live on stream? Um, there's the Castle Malloy. Condo unit A, condo unit B, parking lot here. Golf course starts here. Suddenly, Kit Foley is a lot less attractive. He is like the worst kind of person. Disgusting. Looking to permits for diverting the river. What about the rich wildlife that live in that river? Kit, what about the wild banshees that roam on the property? Have you thought of them? What about the mummies that are in the bog? What's gonna happen to them when you divert the river? <sighs> he's also doing build over the main road. <laughs> God, he's so awful. Ah. Yeah, you agree, don't you? Ah. That's you insulting Kit Foley, ah. I can just tell. Bunch of crow swears coming right out. Diamond stock market. Oh my god, that is kind of what that image looks like. Also, I'm so behind on chat. I'm so sorry. I was thinking Twin Peaks Owl too. Yes. Twin Peaks is so good. I love seeing Kyle McLaughlin in something because it's been, I feel like it's been too long and he's so good. I love it. <laughs> There we go, just spacing out of existence again. I love him on um, Instagram. He like, it's like a total like girly pop on Instagram. He posts like a millennial and it's amazing. I don't need to be doing this. Where's the barn place? Here we go. It's never where I think it's gonna be. Where, where did I put my sheep shearing barn? I always lose it. Ta-da. I did call it a pay plate. <laughs> no, I didn't know it had a real name. Just know the stream on my way out of the house. Can't wait to see y'all in the VOD later. See you later, Mort. Have a good day. Catch you in the VOD. When you listen to these words. Yeah, <laughs> that's all I have to say. Um... It's assuaged by excellent rock grinding sound effects. Oh, nothing in there. Okay. Have I seen everything over here? Why would I ask Kyler? Why wouldn't I ask Kit Foley, whose literal name is on it? Did that? Okay, I have done that. Technically, she was not herself involved in Hogwarts Legacy, but since it's her IP, we'd still get money from it. Yeah. What's this way? Oh. Nancy has a bit of a hunch going on. She's gonna have a bad back if she keeps that going. Improve your posture, Nancy. For goodness sake, you're 18 years old. You've got your whole life ahead of you, I can't believe. You would self-sabotage by slouching like that and ruining your back. Yeah, the horrible sequel movies. Oh my god. I'm still so sad that Jenny Nicholson didn't make a video on the most recent Fantastic Beasts movie, because I didn't want to see it, but I wanted to have her, like, drag it to hell. What's on your mind, then? What do you know about the stone pillars with all the weird writing on them? I've never been able to make heads or tails of Wave. Them. Even bought me a book on Oam runes. Waste of good money, that was. Oam runes? All those lines. Ancient Celtic symbols they are. Runes. Spell out something. 
He's talking to Nancy like she's an idiot. having a go at it. You think I could borrow your book? Sorry to say, I'm not in a lending mood. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, this is gonna be mortifying. The band can't be playing it because their drummer looks sick. Looking for someone to take his place, they are. If only can. Tori I mean, confirmed. Sadly, I think then. you're right. <laughs> One ditty is on. Play it well enough, and the book will be yours. Seamus will help We've seen started. Nancy's house. The girls think her mysteries are what vacations. A fine last for oh. helping out the band. Now here's what you she do. didn't go somewhere Watch and shit shoe. didn't hit the fan. It's truly drum, a, is it truly a Nancy Drew vacation? The with the beater. Keep doing that till the song's over. Think of all the and displaced Shrocks. Well enough, oh, I'm glad you remember Shrock. Shrock Just forever. Keep your wits about you, and you'll That's do That's so fine. sad. That tugs on the old heartstrings. I'm not ready. Read one of the OG Nancy books recently where Carson was like, you have to figure out how to pay for a trip. It was so weird because usually money is never a factor. Yeah. Although I guess these games are supposed to be a form of kind of escapism for people especially the young girls where they can live out the fantasies of being like a detective and so you wouldn't want to be like here's your escapist fantasy of struggling to make ends meet and living paycheck to paycheck i feel like showgirls hurt his career oh was he in that no wonder i love the dad from fallout yeah yeah he's so great He's in good stuff before and since then. True, but like never anything quite as big, I feel. <laughs> Nancy's foster is so me, sadly. I know, like while I was saying that, I was like unconsciously trying to like straighten, well, consciously really, trying to straighten my own posture. This is a posture check, everyone. Sit up straight, roll those shoulders back. Keep your head up high. I'm forever haunted by the smell of the sheep shearings I tried to clean. One was full of poopies, oh no. That's cool. When did you get to do that, Centaine? Were you, like, volunteering at a farm or something? Oh, God, it's fast! No, it's too fast! No, 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 no! I'm ruining Irish culture. Actively ruining Irish culture. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> this is where it's revealed that I'm secretly terrible at rhythm games. My secret shame. My darkest secret. trying to do it with keeping my eye on the top of the screen so I keep missing or hitting the wrong buttons because I'm just looking at the drum out of the periphery you could do with some practice that won't do lass oh no oh no <laughs> roasted by this old man who looks like well to be fair that he looks like the only type of music he listens to is that kind of music <laughs> So fair enough if he wasn't impressed by my playing. I don't know why I expected a different outcome than this. You ever hear of letters, girly? Do you know how to read, lassie? <laughs> Me playing Guitar Hero. Oh no. I'm glad you were late. I, oh yeah, I definitely made him la mad. That won't do, lass. He's not just angry, he's also disappointed. Last summer, my husband's aunt had a neighbor who kept sheep, so she sent me three bags full of wool, but the wool is not in good shape to make yarn. Oh, that's such a shame. But that's still really cool. Fresh wool. Fresh off the sheep. Nice. Super fast. You don't remember this minigame? I feel like it's less memorable than Mix Made, that's for sure. I gotta try again for my own pride. Are we at Coachella right now? Yeah, this is my, like, Grimes Coachella performance. <laughs> hold on, hold on. That Something's going wrong here. I'm trying to do math in my head. You don't know how hard this is, y'all. <laughs> it's all messed up. It's not entirely my fault, okay? 
<laughs> Stop the music. Oh my god. Couldn't get the grease out, let alone the dirt and poo. The garage smelled like a petting zoo. Oh no. But without the cute sheep. You didn't get your Ireland Idol ticket today. So Let me try again. Shameful behavior. Yeah, oh Grimes. She's just an embarrassment in so many ways. Have they made it easier for me? I feel like they've given me a slightly easier version. <laughs> they've taken pity on me a little. That's probably famous last words right before they ramp up the speed and the amount of notes hitting at me. No. I'm too fast on some of these. Oh no, <laughs> no, I'm losing it, I'm losing it. If I even had it to begin with. Okay, 62, that's better than 45. What do you say that, old man? Good beat. Here's your shirt. Good beat. Good beat. Sweet as clover to the honeybee. Sweet as a clover to the honeybee, that was. As long as you'd like. No, you'll not soon have need of it. If I was, like, making this a video right now, as, as he said that, I'd play, like, the beat over top of him and you'd see how sweet like as clover the honeybee it was <laughs> which i don't think is much that was kind of fun even if i was bad at it <laughs> the grimes meltdown is so embarrassing i always forget grimes was married to elon musk i sometimes forget that he's she's not still married to him oh my god yeah that that's it sentence so she was doing a dj set at coachella and she apparently came out and she was like, I got an assistant to, like, set up my all, all my tracks. And then she couldn't, like, she kept messing up. And, like, then she'd stop the music and it'd be just dead silence with her being like, no, it's not my fault, everyone. It's not my fault. I'm doing math in my head. I did too, Michael. Her music was really good. I was so into it in high school. Um, but I feel like her music has gotten worse as well. It's a bit more, like, overproduced. Like, um... It's that, like, I think that song, Reality, is kind of exemplary of that. Like, I don't know if you heard, like, the original demo. I think it was posted to Tumblr back in the day. But it was so much better than, like, the overproduced version of it that eventually got put on one of her albums. Oh, were they not married? Will you be wanting something else from me, then? Have you ever been to the other side of the bog? Do I look daft to you now? There's no walking across the bog. <laughs> well, in, I think you'll no find that out. there is, oh, old man. Is your age, younger even. There was talk of an old gypsy woman who kept house in the bog. Well, that type herself, of language hasn't uh, aged be. well. But a tall tale is all it was. You stay clear of that bog, girl. There be no crossing it. Not if you're fond of living. Ha. <laughs> Sucks to be you, sucker. You fool. I'm better than you and all your Irish ancestors. I cross the bog. Yeah, he thinks he knows more than I'll me. You I'll show you, old man. Peace. Be careful I'll push you in the bog, rest. old man. Criticize my drumming again, old man. I'll throw you in the bog. Wait, I got. Did I get two money from doing the bog? The drumming thing, rather? The bog. Look at that! He's falling asleep. He's drunk as a skunk. You're an embarrassment to yourself, old man. I'm gonna do some mixed made to earn some money back. Oh yeah, the giant robot spider. <laughs> which honestly, dumb. Also, she had AI art projected in the background, which is also so gross. <sighs> like, remember, like, the... Like, isn't she an artist herself? Which is so bizarre. Like, I think her, her early album art, which is really unique, was done by her. I remember when Elon Tech bros for Tesla and SpaceX. What a f I know, I remember talking to my dad one time, and he was like, oh yeah, Elon Musk, he's done some really pro things to progress technology. And I was like, what are you talking about? But thankfully he's 
uh, redacted that statement now. Three kids. Oh, right, didn't they have one via, like, a surrogate? Okay. Uh, I know how to do this. I don't need to read it. Oh my god, it's- uh, wait, we've started, we started. <laughs> wait, we started, we started. Um, no, I'm not ready, actually. I've forgotten how to do this. Um, okay, wait. One, two, one, two. Put in blender with two melted ice cream. One strawberry. Brrr. Okay. One. Oh, wait. This is another one with the blender. Strawberry. Wait. <laughs> oh, no. This is too stressful now. <laughs> this is too stressful. Another round completed. Okay. No, that was right. That was right. I need to have more confidence in myself. For milk. It's just, this is just like a milkshake. That actually seems kind of nice. That's something that I could make for one of my Nancy Drew food videos when I eventually am able to make them again. I think I put in everything I need for that one. The Bleeding Norse. You do fine work. Look at miss. that, I've earned five tips already. What? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Okay, wait, 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 wait. This is just like Fanta. I think I did four of each of those. Fanta on ice. You do fine work, miss. Eight whole tips. Oh, two via sugger, surrogate. Oh, okay. Thanks for letting me know, Chris. This is so annoying. Now I'm having troubles with both my mic and my camera. Oh. Yeah, Vision's album was so good. Fun fact, they're bog mummies with such well-preserved clothing that people thought they were recent bodies. That is wild. Let's play some Difference Detective. I like Difference Detective. And it's only one token. I feel like this is a good one that we can all play together. Grimes learned that Elon having kids with another woman like the day the third kid was born. Oh my god. <laughs> You're so awful. But then again, she is also kind of awful. I, you know what? I'm not even gonna say kind of. She is awful. Okay. Where's my music? Where's my music? Why is it forsaken me? Oh, there we go. What am I missing? S ah, seven out of 12? How am I still missing that many? Chat, let me know if you see anything. Oh, this bird. Another, wait, I did that one. I think I got that before you typed it. Not, how is there still four left? Wait, is there four left? I can't math. <laughs> Something like that. Cloud, top left. Oh, thank you. Cloud. I got the cloud. This game is so hard. I always forget how hard it is. There can't be two differences left. 50k? That's wild. The trees are because this is in the way, so they're different sides of the trees. Leaves at the bottom. No. What the heck? How are there two differences? Tuber fart. To proclaim how bad I am in this game. Wait, the cloud was higher on the right side? Yeah, he is an awful person. I don't even think he's that smart. I make fun of anyone driving a Tesla. They're not impressing anyone. I know. Owning a Tesla is so cringe. And I don't say many things are cringe, because, like, I am very much a proponent of 
you know, what what's the saying? You know, basically, like, whatever you love, even if you, some people would consider it cringe, who cares? There's a definite, like, known saying, like, about cringe and embracing it, but I can't remember what it is at this very moment. Anyway, um, but that's the only thing that I think, well, one of the only things that I think is genuinely cringe is driving a Tesla. Also, they're just ugly cars, in my opinion. Everything about Le Elon I learned against my will, and everything new is worse than the last. True. Okay, well, that's good, Mary, if they're not too no noticeable. I can't believe that 50k. I'm technically still subscribed, but I feel like I shouldn't. But I want to know if they go back on their statement. The cloud the boat is on differently shaped. Oh. Yowza, Jack, how are you? Yowza is going to be my new catchphrase, 100%. My brain just sometimes is like, say silly things. <laughs> say say this thing. I'm sure everyone's brain is like that, though. Say silly things. Oh, what? How is, how, none of these, no, this is crayon. Do I lose, do I lose time when I get one wrong? I think I remember this one being difficult. I remember struggling with this difference detective before. This soundtrack has some bops in it, but that then again, that's all Nancy Drew soundtracks. Okay, I got all the obvious ones. <laughs> Are these all the same? One, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah. Hmm. Shine on the frame, umbrella handle. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I think I got the I got the shine on the frame. Okay, there's two left. We've got a decent amount of time. Surely we can get these last two. Oh, oh, one left, one left. <gasps> Ashley, nice one. We noticed it at the same time. Is there not? Are his sleeve sleeves not the same? Different, different design. Is there something about this little fellow? No. Dress. I think we got that. Unless there's another part. Oh. <gasps> Wait, I want, I want a doll. I want the doll. Fine, I'll take my money. Okay, now, now back to the important work of actually playing the game. <laughs> hey, thank you, thank you. Well, I couldn't have done it without you. <laughs> it was like um a ribbon on her bonnet. Gimme doll, and no one gets hurt. I could threaten Donald in the middle of the pub and be like, give me that doll. I won Difference Detective fair and square. <laughs> I was promised a doll. Okay, what am I actually doing right now? We don't have the gear, but I don't Did think that. I need that. Oh no! We have to do the pillar puzzle. Oh, ask Kyler about the sketch I saw outside. That's much, much more pleasant activity. What's going on? Oh, let's let's stir up a little shit. <laughs> I found a sketch you did on the ground outside. What's it for? I what that? I was just. I like how around. Nancy feigns see, ignorant. Real estate, and whenever I see <laughs> What's this real land, estate diagram I like for? How I develop it, just to you know keep <laughs> oh. the juices flowing. Oh yeah. It doesn't mean anything. Oh yeah. I was just doodling. Great. So it's okay if I keep this. Uh, sure. Go right ahead. That's evidence, my good man. Um, also, do you really think the best place for your property development is right in front of the ancient castle? But I guess there are some people who genuinely think like Have that. Have you ever been to the little hut that's in the middle of the I expected better of you, no. kid. Don't tell me you've been traipsing through the bog. Are you nuts? That stuff's like quicksand. Oh, now he's calling me crazy. Literally, he's, I think he's accused every single person of being crazy. <laughs> You just gotta watch your step. No, let's let's ask it in a question. See if we get Did some information. Did Matt ever try to cross the bog? The only thing Denal ever said that made sense to Matt was stay away from the bog, and he did. And you'd be well advised to do the same. Heh, <laughs> You fool! You just gotta, you know, you just gotta be good. You just gotta get good. Time for me to scoot. Drop by anytime. Noob. <laughs> 
Fucking noob who can't even cross the bog. God, loser. Am I right? Loser. He gatekeeps, gaslights. Man loves calling woman crazy. It's nothing new. You have a lead? Mostly I have a question. Do you know anything about this? Gash? Well, am I crazy? I found it outside. Well, well I am it crazy. Looks like yeah, a they, that's some true. kind of housing development for the land the castle sits on. Apparently Kit did them. Did you ask him to? The castle? No. And I seriously doubt Matt did either. Kit must have done those on his own. The question is... Kato Man has let me down. Why? He's let me down. Anyway, I thought of something else you can do for me. Since there's a possibility, however remote, that there are forces at work around here that none of us completely understand... I thought of something I else you can do. I invented a task for you. To that end, I would like to include these herbs and flowers in my wedding bouquets. According to Irish law, each of them is believed to be associated with things I could use a little more of right now. If you could pick them for me and put them in that vase over there, that would be wonderful. Here's a basket. Bitch! I'm trying to find your missing husband. Do you know what you're doing? Sitting there reading. Why can't you go fucking flower picking? Why do I have to be the person... Who does the flower picking? Well, like, if you really think this is important, pick those darn flowers yourself. What are you doing that's so much more important than picking flowers? Because, you know, I have something important that I'm doing. Looking for your fiancé, who might be dead. Who might be dead, you... This makes me so mad. <laughs> really think <laughs> this is the best use of my time right now Kyler this of course means that in spite of whatever it was I saw in the nursery I still believe there will indeed be a wedding De -Lulu. because no matter who De -Lulu. or what took Matt you're going to find him Nancy I have to yeah. believe that I'll find Please him if you give me the down. time to find him and don't send me out looking for fucking flowers Play detective. You know what? I'm not playing detective. I'm playing florist. I'm gonna go play detective now. Keep me posted. The castle. Exactly. That's. I was gonna say Chris. That's exactly the way she pronounced it. Like it's spelled that way. The castle. She is so unhelpful. I, in fact, I would even say she's like deliberately being unhelpful. Like anti-helpful. Like the exact opposite. She's sabotaging me in my attempts to be helpful. Calgary loves getting rid of interesting historical buildings and replacing them with boring modern condos. I hate that so much. He's almost bad as Ra she's almost as bad as Rachel is and Kim. Oh my god, you're right. <laughs> that, that, that's the only thing that could make her worse if she was like, surprise, I have a twin. Two Kylers. It's my worst nightmare. Um, I'm snacking on Tato's, which are the original Irish crisp. I bought them, brought them back in Dublin with me especially for this screen stream and they suck they're the some of the worst crisps i've ever had i got the salt and vinegar flavor and they're just like super sour and not in a good way yeah very disappointed mr tato man um anyway i thought dublin was a really cool city though if, if um you're a literary type you would definitely love it me and my mom um, went on a James Joyce themed walking tour, which was great. Um, and we went to the Literary Museum, which was also really great. It was a good time. Um, I do think it's really interesting about James Joyce though, is that they have a few of these walking tours where you can literally like visit locations from his books. But apparently, which I didn't know, he moved away from Dublin and went to live in like continental Europe when he was like 18 or 19 or something and he never moved back to Dublin for his whole life in fact he only like visited like twice more in his whole life but all his books were about Dublin and had these super like detailed kind of directions um and aspects of them like we we went to this one house and he's like the tour guide was like he describes this drain on the street <laughs> like he he remembered there is a street drain here he remembered like well maybe not remember but he knew exact like distances between things in the city um apparently he would like 
send letters to his contacts in the city and they would like tell him stuff but it's like that is like wild especially in the days before like the internet where i've crap myself if my maid of honor duties included picking flowers the night before the wedding yeah and when you've been hired to work as a detective to find the missing fiance yeah hey Catherine! oh thank you so much i'm glad you're here um i i have a question i usually ask nancy drew fans when they come in don't feel pressure to answer it but um i would love to know your favorite nancy drew game and if you're feeling brave <laughs> your least favorite nancy drew game but welcome in glad to have you i know i also love salt and vinegar chips i don't know what they have done to make them so bad i don't know if like a different flavor would have been better like they do say they've got no added msg no artificial colors or flavors like but it's salt and vinegar man <laughs> how do you mess that up I was in Dublin for a weekend when I studied in the UK. It was nice. Did you go to the Museum of Literature, CE? Yeah, it was cool. It was definitely a bit different than I expected. Ahem. <laughs> Trying to figure out my apartment insurance. Oh, being an adult is so fun. Oh my God, good luck, Mary. I did a bunch of those boring adult tasks today and I almost cried while doing my taxes because Oh my god, so I have a- I'm from Canada. I'm living in the UK. I don't have my Canadian phone number anymore. So I can't log into my Canada Revenue Agency account because they ask for my phone number every time I try to do it. And it's like, if you want to change information about your account, or if you want to change your phone number, either log into your account. Well, I can't do that because I don't have a phone number. And then they're like, or call us. So I try calling from my UK cell phone, but my phone doesn't cover international calling. So um, yeah, I, I cried. <laughs> but luckily I didn't end up needing to access my account, but I, I will need to address that problem in the future. Um, but I did f ma finish my taxes technically today. Just trying to renew my policy. I hope it goes well. You saw the Book of Kells, was it cool? We didn't do that because we thought it was a little bit expensive. Um, but it does seem interesting. And I asked um, my friend from Dublin before we left what he would recommend. And that was one of the things that he said uh, was worth it. Okay, is this the one we just got? Which is the one we just got? No, that's the one I tried to do before and it wouldn't let me. I think this is the one we just got. There's Blue from Blue's Clues. Oh my god, this is hard. There's so much going on in this one. Okay, well, I've got the pig in. <laughs> That's about all I can say. Above in any direction. On the side of... To the side of on any floor. Hmm. Oh my god, Miss Vicky's salt and vinegar are truly incredible, life-changing. You know, actually, you know what's really upsetting that I learned today? I learned that they don't make stoned wheat thins anymore, the crackers. They were the perfect cracker. Apparently they discontinued them last year, and they don't know why. But it's like, I literally had been craving, I was like, oh, stone wheat thins and cheese sounds so nice right now, like cheese and crackers. I was like, I don't even know if the UK sells stone wheat thins. So I googled stone wheat thins only to find out they don't exist anywhere anymore. Like, there is no cracker like stone wheat thins. I'm telling you, I like stone wheat thins used to be my go-to travel snack because I get like motion sick on planes and stone wheat thins were like the perfect thing to eat when you're feeling motion sick i'm just so passionate about stone wheat thins and they're gone now they're gone they keep getting rid of products that like are my my holy grail products like the craft sugar-free peanut butter they got rid of that too because they hate me craft hates me okay i need to figure this out i need to figure this out um, well, the cat is on the top floor somewhere. Cat, and then Blue from Blue's Clues. 
Wait, no. What? Oh, above. Oh, on I know on any floor. So I think the this one is on. No, this. Oh, ah. Ooh. <laughs> no, I think that this one is on this floor. Blue is on the bottom floor. Oh, this is complicated. Well, see, I did that, Centane, and after I log in through my bank, it asks for my phone number. So it's like extra secure, but it's terrible. Yeah, they do have like a online chat, but it's not available on Saturdays. So I'm, I'm really hoping that'll come through with me. Either, like either that, or I'll try to figure out. I guess next time I'm in Canada, when I go back to Canada. I'm like, oh my god. I love that question. Deception Island is my favorite, and Silence Spy is my least favorite. Can't forgive her for ruining Andy Cannon with her mom. Yeah, I don't really understand that at all. It's such a weird thing, and I mentioned this in one of my videos, but I think it kind of diminishes, like, Nan the strength of Nancy's story, that it's like, I don't know, if she was just, like, kind of just a regular gal with a regular mom, I think her story would be a lot more meaningful, but they kind of make it seem like, oh, it's in your genes, and that's why you're such a great detective. Like, that's kind of the vibes it gives off for me, and it's like, I don't know. I feel like it would be a lot more meaningful if she was just, like, a normal girl. Um, also, I love Deception Island, though. I love that one so much. That's one of my top favorites, too. I did not. Well, next time, if you if you go to Dublin again, I highly recommend it. It's weird that a phone call would not let you make international. A phone would not like make you let you make international calls. Um, yeah, it's apparently not part of my phone plan, unfortunately. I like I could always see if someone I know has an international phone plan. It was really cool. It's behind glass, and they only turn the page like once every two months. So I only saw the pages it was open to that day, but it was interesting. Could you actually read what was written in it? Good luck, Mary. I hope it goes well. You're doing great. No more stone we did support 20 or ever. Yeah, it's oh, it's gutting. I hope they I hope them they bring them back at some point. Okay. Okay, that's wrong. Let's just okay, so yes, yes. That's good. This is to the side of on any floor. Yeah, that's that's accurate. Yeah, that's accurate. Pig is right next to suit of armor. That's accurate. Blue's Clues is there. Oh, and the pig is direct, also directly next to the chandelier. Pig is 100% in the right place. Cat, somewhere above. Oh, this is on the wrong floor. Oh. I get a single penny for that? Is this a jape? Is this a funny joke? Do you think this is a funny joke? Because it's not funny. It's not a funny joke. Unbelievable. I really thought I was doing something there. Did that. Oh, right. We got it. Well, I'd rather pick the herbs than do that s silly, silly columns puzzle. Two-factor authentication is the bane of my existence. I know it's important for security, but at what cost? I me. know it's. Oh my god! Like, um, I because <laughs> I don't have my Canadian phone. Like, there's quite a few things that I like have become unable to access because of two-factor two authentication, which is like luckily none of the most important ones. But it's also like, oh my god. Like, I think it's good for security, but it's also, like, if anything happens that prevents you from having that authentication, it makes it very difficult. What am I doing? Oh, I'm picking flowers. <laughs> doing the very important task of picking flowers.
I totally that agree that it diminishes Nancy's story as being an amateur detective. Yeah. And it's just, like, it's so weird and kind of, like, I don't know, implausible. And, like, no one, no one wanted that kind of backstory for Nancy's mom. I don't know, like, I think it, like, I like the idea of her being able to kind of connect with her mom in a way that transcends time. But, like, that was just, like, such a, such a strange way to do it. Are these not flowers I can pick? I know there are flowers in here. I'm pretty positive. Are those the only flowers in here that I want? Okay. Can I really not pick any of the ones near the gate? Huh, okay. I think so, but my Latin is very limited. Oh my gosh. The, the fact that you even have some Latin, I think, is impressive, honestly. I bet you wouldn't need a Lulu to help translate in Blackmore Manor, then. Okay. Um, how many flowers do I need? Does it check them off when I've... Yes, okay. Oh, oh I, thought, <laughs> I thought that was, like, all the ones I need. Um, oh my god. Tyler is so new-agey. Also, the fact that she's organizing her bouquet the night before. This girl has so many issues. She has more issues than Vogue. I work in finance and it's so tedious. Oh man, I can imagine. So you definitely want to have like the most security in that circumstance. Yeah, it's, it's, it's really annoying for accounts that you regularly log into. Like, I have it set for my email. Um, and yeah, it's annoying. Uh, is there a flower here? Yes. Is there any at the cabin? Does Kylie want a stinky dried herb by any chance? Oh my god, she does! Good. Is that all of them? I need Vervain. What does Vervain look like? Larkspur, Larkspur Lane! Oh, Vervain. Is it? It's this pink one. Welcomes all who enter the land of Malloy. Oh, so it's near the gate. That was actually a really helpful hint. My fiance is missing, but can you go postpone your search to pick some flowers for my wedding? It's so important. Thanks, bestie. God, she's so annoying. She's so annoying. Get your priorities straight, Kyler. You don't even know if there's gonna be a wedding. And there literally cannot be a wedding if you don't have a groom. I'd rather have flowers than that. You know what? Me too. A hundred percent. Kit might be a slightly different story, although, as we've established, Kit is a Tory, so, uh, I probably would rather have flowers than him, too, in reality. But I'd think about it a little longer. I love playing my little whistle. <laughs> oh, it's so good. Speaking of which, let's go annoy Kit a little. Hey, Kit. Hey, Kit, listen to my whistle playing. Listen to my song, Kit. Isn't it beautiful? I'm self-taught, don't you know? I think I should start a YouTube channel. Or a SoundCloud? What do you think? My own original songs? Listen to this one. Real catchy, don't you think? I think it'll go big on TikTok. What do you think, Kit? What do you think, Kit? song of the summer, right? Kit. <laughs> Impressive job um, of ignoring me. <laughs> I like how Nancy's hazards just stay on the whole night draining What's the battery. Well, it's a rental car. <laughs> she doesn't care. I'll doesn't matter to her. Okay. Drop by any time. If it weren't for Nancy, what would Kyler even be doing? Would she just wait around at the altar, eventually hand down her missing group? If Nancy were not here, nothing would get done. There wouldn't be a seating chart. 
there wouldn't was it like invitations that they got her to print or was that the, i think that's the menu maybe why did they get her to print it was something ridiculous there would be no bouquet matt would be dead <laughs> um and they would never find his body so she's fucking lucky don't that forget nancy's to pick those there flowers for me i won't i promise i have them i'd better get to work as soon as do i not have them? anything let me know the nerve! The nerve of this girl! Am I missing a flower? Oh, I'm missing lavender! <laughs> Can't you go without the lavender, Kyler? Can't you go without a little happiness? I feel like their marriage is gonna be unhappy anyway. I don't think a sprig of lavender is gonna help much with that, to be honest. There's some problems that even lavender can't fix. Please are not the ones to call in the situation, but my maid of honor who I knew for four months years ago. Yeah. <laughs> She'll know what to do. <laughs> and she works for free. Cause no way would I Well, I guess you wouldn't have to pay the the police either. Yeah, I don't know I don't know what was going through Kyler's mind. Probably not much. Her head is probably full of like fluff, like sheep shearings, like wool. Okay, where, where, oh wait, is, can I just pick, pick some lavender from in there? Um, is there a good hint about the lavender? At the base of the stones that reach, what? I went and looked there. That would be so very dead. Oh my god, he, he would be like an emaciated little skeleton. The programs. Okay, right, right, right. Yeah. I guess they're one of those things you're expected to have, but at the end of the day, who cares? Oh no, not these stones! The other stones! The other stones. I'm gonna be big haste, like a year in advance? With fake flowers and paper! Those sound really unique! I love that idea of having, like, paper flowers. That's really cool. But you're way more prepared than Kyler as well. Oh my god. She's so ungrateful also. Like, the fact that I come up to talk to her and she's like, don't forget those flowers. <sighs> Kyler, why don't we both pick flowers? Then it would get done more quickly. Why isn't there a flower on there for tethering her to reality? She doesn't realize she needs that yet. Those were just some sketches I made because I was bored. I do that all the time. I'm not after your property. Then what are you after? Your hand in marriage. No. Why are you Kids. To me? There's not no, Matt's hand. booty. Because Matt is gone. Matt would never walk out on me. Never. He still loves you, Kyler, but he's not ready to get married and he just didn't know how to tell you. Oh, so he told you to tell me. Or was his leaving your idea? What'd you tell him, Chip? That I still had feelings for you? That it isn't over between us? Because it is. You know that, don't you? It is most definitely over. He thinks he is. He doesn't want to let the go. Go in! I better not go in there. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's dramatic. Get out the popcorn, Nancy. Get a little drinking glass. Put your your ear to the door. I want to hear the drama. Also, Kyler, the issue is not that he's still in love with you, but he, that he's still in love with Matt. <laughs> the juiciest cause. Yeah, this game, actually, I've forgotten how good it is for drama. <laughs> I would quit being her maid of honor so fast. Yeah, I feel like if Nancy wasn't um, invested in the mystery, she would too. Imagine what a brat she'd be at the bachelorette. <laughs> oh god, she'd be like constantly asking you to do things for her. And just like not... Oh wait, this is a good chance to snoop in kid stuff. Um, she wouldn't do a single thing for herself. She's definitely the type of person who's not very like good at being self-reliant. Ooh la la. What have we here from Matt's luggage? Look inside it, Nancy. I bet he'll have like at least 10 whoopee cushions and some Groucho Marx glasses in there, 
Maybe like a flower that squirts water that he was planning to sneak into Kyler's bouquet and then squeeze when they're about to kiss at the altar. <laughs> Spraying her face with water, completely soaking her, ruining her expensive wedding dress. Reminds me of Rachel slash Kim saying, not now, okay, when you're the one doing homework for both of them. They make me so angry. So angry. I better not go in there. still arguing? Gone. They're gonna force me to do this stupid puzzle with the standing stones. That's not what I want. Okay. Withdrawn from the library. This puzzle is so difficult. I think there's another book I need as well, though. And it might be in the library? <laughs> Love the thruple drama. Honestly, that would just kind of make things a bit easier for the, the munch of them if they just decided to, like, be in a polyamorous relationship. Although it would be no less disastrous. What's going on? I found Matt's luggage in here, right over there. What? Over where? <laughs> it was behind right behind you, you fool. How did it get there? Looks to me like someone was trying to. How hide did it, it indeed? Well, it wasn't me. Matt hit it. Oh Matt my Matt hit it. He didn't go back to London. He? He's been here the whole time. Kyla was right. Matt oh hit it gosh. in the bed right behind you. Really? Without you seeing? Really? Really, Kit? Really? Really? Is that really? Really what happened? Really? You think he's just pulling one of his pranks? He must be. And I fell for it. Hook, line, and sinker. The worst part is, if he's just playing a joke, it means he intends to go through with the wedding after all. Big mistake, Maddie, my boy. <laughs> Maddie, my Big boy. Mistake. Do you think that's what he calls him in the bedroom? <laughs> Maddie, my boy. <laughs> oh, God. Maddie, my I boy. I help it overhear the discussion you and Kyler had in the library. <sighs> That sure didn't go like I planned. All this talk of fairy kidnappings and practical jokes. I just thought it was time to clear the air, but what happens? Not only did she accuse me of being the bad guy in all this, but as it turns out, she had it right, and I had it wrong. Matt didn't walk out on her. At least His he's a man who knows it. when to admit that he was wrong. But if Matt's just pulling a prank, why would he bother hiding his luggage? Who knows what goes on in that warped mind, <laughs> warped of, his. mind of his. Maybe he wanted nothing about his disappearance to make sense. He's insane, All don't you know, is, Nancy? He's, he's insane. Kyler's insane. Denial's insane. You're insane. I get going. Heck, yeah. maybe even I'm insane. Oh, kid. Reminds me of that TikTok that's like, Bride, I'm doing my part, groom. I'm doing my part, bridesmaids. I'm doing my part, groomsmen. I didn't do everything shit. Kit, you son of a gun, I'll give you another black eye. It would just improve his looks. You've picked all the flowers? <laughs> yep. Go ahead and put them in that vase. She can't even put them in there a vase. She can't even do Anything that herself. She is, like, physically incapable of arising from her chair and crossing the room. She is at the height of laziness. Girl, your fiance is missing. Oh, she's aggravated. I found Matt's luggage hidden behind the cots downstairs by Kit's things. How did it get down there? It kind of looked like Kit was hiding. How did it indeed? Oh, don't be silly. Why would Kit do it? Don't though? be silly. That's Matt's job. Well, anyway, that's a good thing. It means Matt's still around here, just as I've been saying all along. Anything else? All to along. Know? Her accent I'm go is play uh, detective now. truly not posted. great. <laughs> Okay, I think that, like I say, there's another book we have to read for the pillars. I might be wrong. I thought there was one on, like, constellations. So I'm gonna have to face the uh, pillar puzzle at some point. Oh, wait, wait, oh! Oh, I thought, I thought there was something there. Huh. Well, there's a book puzzle later on. See, if Mr. I have to ask everyone about the luggage. Okay, we'll go do that. Maybe I'll leave the pillar puzzle for future Chloe. 
as a fun little delight, a little surprise. It is all over the place. It's, uh, yeah, it's interesting. At least, like, Donald's, even though it's, um, also, like, I mean, actually, it's not too bad, I guess, but it is consistent. Kyler, are your limbs broken? Are you paralyzed? Are your feet broken? I like the how they use Matt's prank antics to justify not calling the authorities. Like, who would do this on their wedding night? And if his friends actually believe they'd do that, he'd do that, how do they stand him? I know. How do either of them have any friends? They're awful. What's on your mind, then? Would you by any chance know how Matt's luggage was? Oh my god, this the couple. The great They're a mess. That I would. I put it there. Oh. I told the Sassnach he was mm. not to stay in Fiona's room, yet he did nonetheless. So, while he was out with the others, I took his bags and hid him. I feel like this game would make a good reality TV show. Like, people always say that about Waverly, but it's like this game has the relationship drama. Finding things, are you? As a matter of fact, I am very good at finding things. <laughs> Got something for you, then. Oh? A key? Aye, to the sheep pen. The sheep I'm keeping on the castle grounds need bringing in so I can shear them first thing tomorrow. You want me to bring them in? There's ten of them is all. With that lantern of yours, you'll be done before you know. Go on now, take it. I'm sorry, I'm like, I found this suitcase under the bed and he's like, oh, good at finding things? Find my sheep. Find ten of the, my ten sheep roaming, roaming the field. <laughs> How is that at all the same? What, I'm like, why, why would she do this? Like, what motivation has he given her to do this? Like, he's given her nothing. He's just like, yeah, do this job for me. And Nancy's like, oh, yeah, sure. Okay, fine. It's like, why? Why? <laughs> why would you do this? Like, I can kind of understand why she'd do it for Kyler because she's the maid of honor. This does not fall within her duties. Either her duties about finding Matt or her duties about being maid of honor. Like, what? <laughs> Just walk the grounds, Donald. and whenever you come upon a sheep, blow a whistle, and back they'll go to the barn. When you the think barn. all ten are in, go to the barn and make sure, then lock the place up, and that'll be that. Don't be looking at me like I've got three heads, lass. You can do it. Out with you now. But There's why should I do it? Why should I do it? You have given me no reason to do it. Yeah, everyone in this game just sucks. Like, I forgot that he just randomly asked you to do that. Like, usually in Nancy Drew games, they're like, oh, if you do this for me, I'll do this for you. Like, a somewhat equal exchange. How have I got one out of ten? How have I got one? How have I got one out of ten? That doesn't make sense. Anyway. But he's just like, yeah, do this for me and get nothing in return. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> oh my good god. Wait get over here i don't like this one because they can like i think they wander away after a moment which is very frustrating i i hear you i'm like the pine piper okay halfway done for now that might change I like that I just teleport them. <laughs> That's Nancy's power. Okay, where are the last three? Come here, sheepy, sheepy, sheepies. I hear you. I hear you. Where are you? <gasps> but no! No! God damn you! Why did you walk into my feet like that? I can hear a few of them. They sound more distant. Find my small army of 200 pound animals with sharp hooves and rage, and only a whistle <laughs> to find them, and no, no prior experience. He's lucky that Nancy doesn't accidentally drive them off the cliff or something. Where are they? I'm worried that the other ones are gonna escape. Oh, 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 found you. Found you. You can't hide from me. You can't hide from me. 
I'm Nancy Drew and I'm coming for you. <laughs> you better watch out, sheep. What do I have? Oh, wait. That one just came right to me. The threats worked. Um, I was gonna threat them, threaten them with my item in my inventory, but I don't really have any threatening items in there. No gun, sadly. <laughs> Unlike uh, secrets can kill. Okay, we just need one more sheep. Do they not start like walking away? Cause I thought they um, they did start like leaving after a while. Oh, <gasps> am I wrong about that? And it's the middle of the night. Yeah, she just has a little lantern. <gasps> oh my gosh! Yes, go to bed, Lufrizra. I hope that I I want to say I hope that I won't see you again soon because I want you to get a good amount of sleep. But I also selfishly. Would like to see you again soon. <laughs> but good to see you either way. Have a good night. I hope you get a decent amount of sleep. Yeah, Nancy needs to be careful not to walk across the cliff. It's like a life endangering activity. Okay, so. Should I. Can I do this now? All done. Lock them. Are they locked in the paddock? Did I do that? There. Oh. The paddock's all okay. locked up. Is he gonna give me anything for doing this? Probably not. He'll be like, oh yeah, thanks. Bye. <laughs> Actually, the band needs another drummer. Oh yeah, and they need uh, another bartender, by the way. I'm thirsty. <laughs> another round. <laughs> another round. <laughs> need some music in here. It's too quiet. <laughs> Lassie, won't you play the drums for me? Amuse me, lassie. The sheep are tucked away in the barn, then? They sure are. I knew you could do it, lass. Will you be wanting something else from me, then? <laughs> Excuse me? The audacity of this man. Will you be wanting something else from me? Sir, you are the one who wanted something from me. You are the one who wanted something from me, not the other way around. You just told me to share your sheep. He literally gave me nothing. He literally gave me nothing, and now he wants... Now he's trying to put it on me? He's trying to put me as the needy person? The only thing I asked from you was to lend me a book. I'd better get going. Good night to you. Look at him sitting there all innocent. Good night to you. Like he's... This little, oh, I'm just missing the little old man. Look at them, the drunkard. You should be embarrassed of yourself. You should be ashamed. You disgust me. You disgust me. <sighs> Sir, I'm traipsing the dark with a lantern. Victorian style searching for sheep. I know, everything I did for you, he doesn't realize how difficult that was for me. God, that is infuriating. Actually, I'm gonna go back in, in the nice warm pub, to take a look at this, uh, this little bookie here. Have you ever heard of, uh, runes? Okay, so we've got our alphabet here. These inscriptions can be seen today on stone runes all across Ireland. Written on the page, the letters read left to right, but on a stone marker, they read from bottom to top. This alphabet eventually gave way to Old Irish, ancestor of today's modern Irish, and written manuscripts finally began to appear. However, when centuries of history already passed, many of the ancient Celtic be that's past spelled wrong. It should be P-A-S-S-E-D, I think. Anyway, many of the ancient Celtic beliefs or and traditions were never transcribed. What other secrets the four major sabbats may have held have been lost forever. Samhain was both the start of the Celtic New Year and the dark half of the year. I'm gonna write down everything I know about these seasons, even though that won't help me much. I'll need all the help I can get, <laughs> please God. Um, Celtic New Year slash start of dark half? Does that mean, like, fall? 
All because Donald is too drunk. Yeah, ridiculous. Oh, November the 1st. <laughs> why, why didn't they tell me then the first line? Um... Okay, it was also the time of year when the veil between the world of the living and the other world was at its thinnest. Places were set at the feast table for the dead, as inhabitants with, from either world could cross the boundaries on this night. All home hearth fires were extinguished to signal the closing of the year. A new bonfire was then ignited, um, heralding the new year's beginning and fresh starts. Individual firebrands were lit from its flames and taken back to relight the hearth. The new year and the coming winter had been ushered in. How does that help me? Let me go look at the pillars again and see what information is on there. Oh, Sawin? Shows how much I know. Sawin. I don't know if I'll remember that. Just <laughs> apologies in advance. I have a little tiny brain. Okay. Let's look at what, what images are on these stones. Okay, so there's the constellation. There's the season. Which, these are so... Like, they're kind of difficult to figure out. Is that spring or summer? Is that spring or summer? Like, which... And then you're supposed to be able to make out the constellations from this blurry, low-res sky? I think, are these supposed to sell out the seasons in the runes? Like, the name of the season? Like, this puzzle is ridiculous. Oh, dr I dragged out to the mall. I was way too busy. Ugh. I hate going to the mall on a weekend. Okay. Let me just spell out the first, like, three letters, what they would be. So I have that, just in case. If S saw when. <gasps> Sean, thank you for membering up. How are you? How the heck are you? Hope you enjoy your membership. Yeah, Shersha and Aoife. Yeah, I did know those two. Did you buy anything, Michael, at the mall? Sean, how the heck are you doing? What's what's new with you? Tell me all about it. I'm gonna pronounce this wrong too, I'm so sorry. Imbolc, <laughs> honored Brighid, the goddess of poetry, smithcraft, and healing. She's a multi-talented girly, tra tra translated as in the belly, symbolizing the spring lambs. Oh, sorry, I hit the mic. Imbolc. Spring. Okay, I guess saw when is autumn. I'm doing great. How's life been? It's it's been wild. It's been both good and bad, pros and cons to living in the UK for sure. But I've really been enjoying um, getting able to travel around Europe a little bit and to see a bit more of the UK as well. Um, really missing eating good sushi and such, but. Um, I'm really also enjoying eating delicious cake, so pros and cons, like I say. What have you been up to? When looking for the Shrek Lush and the collection is gone! No, that's so upsetting! That sucks! Oh, I think it's- you need to know the- the date because of the constellation. What were you specifically looking for in the Shrek Lush collection? The traditional lighting of candles represented the imminent warm of the sun and all its warmth. Okay, I actually think I have all I need for that, except I need to write out the start of it. One, two, three, four, five. I am E. Just the usual for me been trying to balance work and personal life stuff oh the constant struggle that's fair how has work been actually we'll be in the uk next year my trips this year are disney world in october that's so fun i would love to go to disney world again beltane may may day freakers are to may day Full moon nearest the midpoint between the vernal equinox and the summer solstice, typically near on 
May 1st. So that's summer. This festival celebrated the start of the light of the happy year. Whatever, whatever, whatever. Whatever. I just need to write down some of this information. I don't care about the other stuff. You're not going to teach me a damn thing. I just want to solve this puzzle in the least painful manner possible. They were so good, Sean. So, so good. I loved um, Praga and Neutralstein, especially, as I think I mentioned to you. Um, yeah, just absolutely incredible. Like, even more incredible than I expected. Um, but it was so, it was so cool. Just, yeah, getting to, like, explore. And hanging out with Mary was so fun. One of everything. Ah, oh, well, did they still have it online, maybe? Okay, Beltane. Ba 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 Lugnasa, which I'm sure is not how that's pronounced. First harvest. Wait, this is autumn, so Sawin is is winter. Around August first. Celebrated with dancing. Ba 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 ba. Okay. So. L. U. G. Okay. Well, I can't. I can't actually solve this puzzle yet because I'm pretty sure I need another book about the constellations. So I don't think I can do it, which is kind of nice. I hope I don't remember, or I hope I don't forget. <laughs> <laughs> that I have these notes. I hope I don't remember that I have these useful notes. Um, I really hope I don't forget that. If any of you are here, remember, um, please remind me. Actually, maybe I'll, I'll make a save game to, called that. All done. Snoop. Do what I do best. Snoop. So right. So check. right, Nancy. Check. Can't check that off yet. No. Can't check that off yet. 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 <laughs> okay, I haven't done that. Can't check that off yet. <laughs> Can't check that off yet. Check. Check. Did that. Did that. Did that. All done. All done. Did that. Can't check that off yet. Can't check that off yet. All done. Okay, I did actually accomplish quite a bit tonight, despite getting quite thoroughly stuck at the start. Favors when she said chalk. <laughs> she yeah, she screams it. Chalk. My first time at Disney World. That's so exciting. What are you most um, excited about? I love I love Disney World. It's so big. There's so much to see. I really liked um, Hollywood Studios, and they've still got Tower of Terror there, which is great. I love Tower of Terror. Where's Consoli got a new job in February, which has been a lot better compared to the last one. I'm very glad to hear that. How's your master's program going? I finally applied for a bunch of programs and I'm just waiting to hear back next month. Oh my god, double fingers crossed for you, Sean. But you're amazing, so I thoroughly believe in you. Um, my master's program is going well. I was saying earlier that the university had a bit of like a few budget cuts um, and restrictions, which meant the program, I think, hasn't been as good as it was in previous years. Which is a bit of a shame, but I'm definitely like getting getting things out of it. Oh, don't plan on eating at the park. That is actually a good idea because I hear it's very expensive um, to eat at Disney. It's been a while since I've been there, so I don't a hundred percent remember. But yeah. She screams at Chag. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it's a bit of a shame, but, like, I don't know. I, I really hope they listen to the feedback from all the people in the program, because, like, literally everyone I talk to has the same um, complaints about it. And I really hope the university listens to us, but I'd say it's better for people next year, but I kind of doubt they will. How much do you have 
how much of it do you have left? Classes end at the end of May, and then there is a dissertation supervision period, which is for June, and then I have till early September to write my dissertation. So not much, honestly. And kind of during that like July to September period, I don't really have any classes or anything like that. So that's cool, which is nice. I'm really looking forward to, um, there's some like kind of busy work, like we have to do like workshop feedback and critique some people's writing every week, which I like, I do enjoy, but it takes a lot of time. Um, and so I'm looking forward to not having to do that every week. <laughs> yeah, I, I've heard that, Centaine. Um, the past few times I've been to Disney, luckily, um... I've been with like family actually once I went with um Aspen who was in here earlier which was super fun um but I don't think oh we went for the food festival that's right there's like a food festival at like um California Adventure so we just got like all the foods from there which was really good oh and we got a turkey leg I love me a big old turkey leg yeah yeah that's right Sean so I'm right now I'm planning on going back to Canada at the end of August yeah, well, I, unless you want to just eat turkey legs, which sounds pretty good to me. <laughs> um, yeah, but I feel like it used to be better for spontaneity before they introduced, like, their whole app and, and things like that. Turkey legs taste like ham? A little bit. I can see that. Maybe they, like, wrap them in, like, bacon. Like, that's what my mom does um, at Christmas. <laughs> that's optimistic of me, I know. <laughs> I do love planning out, out trips, but I like flexibility. Me too. Me too. 100%. Um, also, I'm going to call it here because it's 10 p.m. But this has gone by so fast. Who knew I could enjoy this game so much? But because it's uh, because of all of you in the chat making this a delight for me and joining in on making fun of Kyler and Kit and Matt and Donald. <laughs> Nancy, of course, typically. But thank you all for watching. I really appreciate it. Um, I usually stream every other week, but I think because I want to finish this game before Mr. The Seven Keys comes out, because I want to stream Mr. The Seven Keys, I'll probably be streaming next Saturday as well, but I'll, you know, have that the stream scheduled so you'll know in advance and all that. Um, but that's, I'm 90% sure about that. I'd be scared to go to Disney now seeing the price of those turkey legs. Oh god, $25? Well, they're big enough to be like, you know, two meals, maybe? <laughs> Turkey legs rule, yes. Me too, Chris. Perfect timing. Thanks for watching, Ashley. Me too, Sean. I'm so glad to see you. I'm glad things are doing pretty well, that you're in a job you like more now. That's always good. Thanks, Centaine. Thanks for being here. I have a good one. Chris and Sean, Centaine, Ashley, um, Michael, CE, everyone else who's watching. I appreciate you so much. Um, and I'll see you probably next week. Bye.